here we are back. I have re it's like I reinstalled the entire game. I downloaded 90 gigs of the game. It's all <laughs> just a city state rods out hard. <gasps> Rising from the southeast waters of the bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single oh, there's nation, also a tower an here. adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay for a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Ah, I'm sick. They have ever everyone is sick. What chance? <laughs> or he's pretending that he's not sick. <laughs> Everyone's sick. Against such an insidious foe. We are in Tavnir now. I think there was a corrupted file, but... I hate that I had to download 90 gigs just to fix this. <laughs> Look at Uri, like a child. <laughs> we are all sick. I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. <laughs> Look at my character, looks like a child. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. <laughs> Look at my face. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. <laughs> and then we let him. <laughs> Chase him. We need to stop Estinian from spending our money. <laughs> Match yourself to get defeat, but you're given your condition. Will you be able to reach Estinian in time? <laughs> Where are you, resist Dinian? Yeah! Dinian, don't spend our money! I'm sick. Oh, there's this Dinian spending money. Let me. Let me. Ah! <laughs> I like him getting this. Let me at you. Justinian, don't spend our money while well, you're talking to a junk monger. Not the money, Justinian. You there, need three drinks, something helps with aether sickness. Monsters, yes, traveler, I mean greetings. Greetings and welcome. Wise good sir, come to me, Asashal Amrolasi, made with only finest fresh ingredient. Thank for coming to Ruly Belly. So warm. Welcome to Kedavnir. Please offer it for the low, low price. 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles. Bargain the most. Bargains. Hmm. Price high road robbery. You want to say much to Antonio, but you realize any words of warning you cry. It would be accompanied by your last meal. You must stand. Justinian, using gestures, deny that the deal is fair. Slash deny. This didn't yet. Huh, I thought you could barely stand with the others. That's so urgent. Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie. Merchant is swindling me. What? I said you're supposed to, but appear to have price confused. Actually, 1890 for about three bottles of lassie. 
Hmm. That usually would be quite costly for both of us. Very well, then, your coin. I have a battle for each of you. Take them to the and get some rest. I'll be back after I explore the town. Just don't spend money, Stinian. You almost got swindled. What the heck? Ori, here it is. Drink. Where's my little of a stomach that loosen its death grip? My heart will take to the Alistinian and find fruits of this land. Here you go, Thancred. Go drink. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. <laughs> right, I'm ready to get on with it. The last you truly work wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Die here. I have found it. Some more I could do against this heat, short of shedding my armor. I asked where you got the cord for. A local vendor, man said to them, we thought they not easy to drive. Oh, you, how much did you spend for it? Uh, 94 hundred gil. What a steal, I was told. It's nothing fancy. Uh, what the heck? That's incredible. There's not even often I could hold a candle to you. Thought the government set their eyes high. Doesn't seem excessive here. Are all the Hanish merchants so unscrupulous? I expect that they're going to put up more fight. <laughs> that subject shall refrain from making comment. Yet I cannot help but observe merchants seem overzealous in the pursuit of profit. Claiming to have near its dominion, Asian of Radzat Khan has long thrived as a hub of commerce. Oh, there's elephant people! In the beginning, there were Ar the Sara, Matanga tribe indigenous to the island. Over time, they came to join other races, and through their intermingling culture, rich and distinct, they did merge. Alchemy textiles, a product of Hamish culture, have become celebrated and coveted the world over. Now, a development only aided by nations' publication as a waypoint betwixt east and west. All that have combined with making trading power towards us, huh? Yet, such a status can be taken for granted. Nay, it must be. Maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence given that merchants of the Gateway Town are free to please hapless travelers, starting with the reputation of the nation at large. Just so, opportunity pricing, so rampant, not suggest the oversight is not too weakened, or mayhap the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, I do not lose by learning more. Oh, you got the first. <laughs> Let me update that. Okay, dip, okay, dip. Where is your name? Here we go. Actually, I guess I can fly and start. <laughs> but we have finished. Yeah, I had to use a VPN to complete the update. That's the way I. I had to disconnect the stream because it got a delay when uh, OBS got disconnected of, by changing the network. So I decided to reset the stream after I fixed the thing. I don't know why, but the error message <laughs> when I checked for troubleshooting, they say you need to use a VPN to fix it, and it looks like it worked. Right, let's split up making quests in town. The view is yours once you've learned what you can drink it by date, right? Of putting though the near side of it, maybe. Gather information in Yerimund. What is that one? Ah, gem something. Go to the pier. Pier is over here. from trade. 
decorate the fruit. Great laden with fruits, uh, they're verge of spoilings if they have been left too long. Okay, so after pier, you buy boats moored off the uh, nearby isles. The silhouettes are larger than seafaring vessels farther away. For the other parts you have visited in the past, there appear to be very little activity. The genial lily. What am I doing? I'm recording my sales. Still do it daily to have it, though I don't know why I bother. I hardly sell anything these days. This has never been this terrible. Suppose things could have been worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat like Calzo. Look at his position. Better to be alone. My little operation I've come to realize. Travel by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Calzo a, vi a visit. Be glad tidings from abroad. Like us not, you'll find him at Salt Wind Sails, Arbor Guild's building across the water from here. Ah, I fell down. Give you a Well, now it's a seasoned traveler, a rare sight in ancient old times. People have been giving us wide berths since the Crescent Tower suddenly appeared in Nuronair. It's just stood there loomed ominously. Perhaps things would be fine after fashion, but no, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. Still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but business good as dead. What will become of us? Only God's knows. Oh. Kalzao. Where are you? Is that. The maskers aren't coming. Not you already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Hello, Agent. Welcome, welcome. And then there's towers sitting on doorsteps, spitting out monstrosities. City Abyss's defenses have been afforded no protection out there. You can play the foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. <laughs> but this is an enormous loss. Why do I forget about the Damascans? Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hamish favorites. The soldier works closely with merchants and artisans, supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. And I was this thing, Paul's also I do. Here's why I don't get to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. It's because of the towers. And you are? Oh, wait, here in a foreigner, aren't you? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. I see, that's a shame. I'm sorry we're discussing matters. Important matters. You need something? I have please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. My name is Matsya. I'm here to see Kalza. It's a big elephant man. Oh, seems so busy. I'll come back later then. Matsya, don't go. Let's talk to that elephant man. Elephant man. Where did you go? Elephant man. I'm alert. I see you dinner. Enjoy dinner. Yes, I can I help you? Oh, I remember seeing you back in the guild. I wanted to speak with Kozal too, did you? 
Mati a fisherman of Hakiali, a nearby village. So my cash calls all of her to four merchants. She hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard Consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come see him. See, he's free anyway. He's a hardworking man. I dare not deserve him. Oh, everyone is actually having issues because of the tower. If I may ask, what is it that you do? An adventure you say. Travel the world, helping people. Must be a great dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? You see, I brought fresh fish with me, and portion couldn't preserve. I want to sell them. Problem is, terrible people. I only deal with calls all and can't talk to customers without getting me drunk in it. So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? I don't know how to sell, though. If you're willing, please let me know. We can begin at once. Let's go. Cannot be skipped. Me wish cancel any pending beach finder restrictions. How do we sell? You'll do it then. Show me how to deal with customers. I mean, you're dead. Right. Please uh, try peddling my fish. I'll say three people here in the other mall. I'll serve you and learn. So he's accompanying you. Keep them stay at your side in order to proceed. Quest objectives. You can leave Master behind during a different area or by speaking to him. The option to part ways. We shall have Matthew join you again. So we can turn and speak to him at the original location. <laughs> Who are we gonna sell to? Do I just talk to people? Oh, they're specific ones. Meruna. Is that? Oh, I thought. Wait! Look at the Charmy! Midgard is on my head! I was wondering what headgear that was. Midgard <laughs> sits on my head. Look at him. <laughs> I was wondering what was on my head. It was a little dragon. Oh wait, I need to sell it on the one on the pier. I have a dragon on my head. Do you need fish, Maruna? Hmm, yes. Fish, fish, I got here. Fish here, fresh fish, straight from the sea's bosom to your mouth. Greetings, friend. How fair you of late. Greetings to you too, I suppose of all not given circumstance. They have settled down somewhat, but as utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Much grabbing what they could, traveling over each other and get to the city. Many remain there for now, I could not say wait. I'd come back to continue with my life, such as it is. And that was the right choice, only time will come. So we got here, maybe you ought to move to the city too. There's no place like home, but don't do anything dangerous, eh? Oh trust me, I don't have make well keep clear of the tower. To emerge from it, I heed that radiant host instructions. You'll soon get back to normal life, so the days could earn as much as you gave. Tuck the meal and satisfy it that you did good work. Just says, Come again, fear no wait. Till then, stay safe. Pick up meal so I not have some fresh fish today. <laughs> Let's try not pushing it. Not. You do, friend. Best of luck with us. Oh, I did not sell. I suck. <laughs> have I sell no established before? Come on. <laughs> I should really sell fish. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matsu. I did not sell your fish. Who's the next one? Nashin. Shireen. 
Okay, are you? Is that a flute by chance? If so, want to buy some Amra? See, it doesn't. Don't need to be export quality. Oh, well, they do need so many Amra for. Why, for eating, of course, seem like a lot, but of late I go through much in no time at all. Stock taker right there, no vessel coming this day, so we're beginning to pile up. Same token, nothing come from overseas. Not a day goes by someone doesn't come asking an extrapment, surviving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down, I find myself feeling constantly hungry. I'm sure you're trying to I know how you feel. Thank you, pity I don't sell fruit. Enjoyed little chat, took me myself for work for me. What the heck? I thought there's another chance! Hello, Royce! Yeah! I got my cat ears. Never mind, nothing else but a positive impression. Let's move on north side town, shall we? I'm sorry, I'm not able to sell. I keep listening to them. I need to sell. wants fish please buy my fish bazama what is it you don't mind rather busy oh that's my stomach oh you're hungry It's like that's not so unusual. I'm here direct to work. So fresh fish will settle his stomach. Mine are the fresher of all. Ah, oh, food is the last thing I need. Go sell your fish to someone else. Ah! I failed again! <laughs> Never mind, just to see you the bad time. Time is everything, yes? <laughs> Watch your dumb face. It's truly eye opening experience. Come let us return. <laughs> I'm sorry, I failed at every instance. <laughs> I'm not able to sell your fish. I'm sorry, Matt. Yeah. Hello, Dip. <laughs> we failed to sell fish. So much showing me how to talk to customers, though I failed, though he didn't manage to sell fish in the end. But the way you fearless in your posture, you just gave me so much courage. <laughs> and the better my way, I remember your example, endeavor to be fearless too. Still, there's only <laughs> much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Kyle's house. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who it could be, but Matsya. How's all? You finish your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me, Travis might I can't find any buyers. No ships coming in, hardly any going through. There simply aren't any options at this rate. So you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsya, I truly am, but for now, I must peddle your own goods. Aww. But by myself, I can't. I want to help you do at such a stance, I can barely help myself. Forward by all the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. My friends and families, depending on me. I can't, I won't fail them, sisters, as my witness. Calls on. I 
but to worry using uh, what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Mm. Best return to the village. Thanks again. Please take care on the road. Ah, oh, poor Matsu. Nobody's gonna buy a fish at the moment. We need to save them. Destroy the tower. I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust. See, I also heard the tower is affecting my local livelihood, such, but think it would be so, such an extent. Another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery is appearance of kidnapping are disturbingly commonplace. At four, Gulf is almost certainly tempered Imperial soldier. At four, they may use the fate of hapless trolls to call forth Lunar Primal. This is useful for the law for I. For brow, something important has occurred to him. Mm, that Maxia fellow you were helping, he is Arcasodora, is he not? At least excuse me, people that being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If something is the perpetrator's aim, does stand reason that Arcasodora will be primary targets. For this fate of their ancestors who prevailed this land, many are devout adherents to. Better go after him. Akiali lies to the west, as I recall, the same direction as Kwao's acquaintance, incidentally. Settle then, keep your eyes healed, we'll make for the village. Alright, we go there. The Great Wood. Malakas. Oh, what's that? Step child. Is this a blue quest for Fla? Oh yeah, I forgot we need to eat the compass again. North East. A ghoul. Go looking around for interpretation. Matanga hmm. everywhere, has this town fallen? I face snow to be in the minor fought the mole in the Nada. Oh, you know me. I'll go of Katayin. I your baby. Your skill inspired me to embark upon my own hero's journey. I was blundered in the den of Atanga. Why do these other walk without fear? Do they not care if they are slaughtered? These Atanga are not like those in the Azim. I don't doubt your word, but grandmother will always warn me if you encounter Matanga, you turn and tail flee as far as you can. Her tails are awful and bloody, so now I'm beside of them and the terror rises unbidden. No, I cannot stay here. I must earn enough coin to bypass the Nightmare Island as soon as possible. I beg of you, stay by my side at the time, just until I meet this Kankana. Person sales told me about. I said to work that pays fair wage, I will see you, she has burned. There's also another ether current over there. On the other side. How can I go there? Let's talk to the person. Oh, 
What happened to you? Why are you scared? Oh, that's because that's my number two. We can count on some tanga. Can I ask you to speak to her in my stead? Hello. She's scared of elephants. Ah, I'll give you a my traveler. I'm can count on my job to sign the work right workers. May I have your name? Ah, uh, well, was it just me? Just that to explain. Them. Oh, grandmother, why? Why did it have to be a matanga? Oh, is your companion quite all right? She's scared of you. Oh, and there's some reaction. Gets her crimes. Not much to stain the reputation of our people. You are looking for work, though. Yes, many have been forced to take what they can get since the troubles began. I'm afraid simple jobs are gone. As for slap, I have tasks fit for season fighters. This sounds like something you could do. Fighting? I can fight, lest you doubt my skills like into that of Dragon Bane. Legendary Chakazoa herself. I'm not familiar with the name, but you sound from the wooden deed. Why don't we start you on an extra duty then? Uh, go for fire and set the harvest materials and ask to send on your prospective protectors their way, should I happen to enlist any. Ah, uh, what? They already set off? That's our duty not to escort them. There's a ritual dance performed by Kajai's footsteps. See the incense and the costumes for the dances, such. The entire thing was decided rather suddenly, so there was no time to waste. Hmm. Uh, and the artists who speaks of, do they also include Matanga in their number? Ah, it was an Aksudara who submitted requests. I hope that won't be a problem. No, not at all. I'm looking forward to fainting at the feet of my most feared enemy. Uh, I cannot do this alone. Pray let me strike the victor and um, have a reward for this task will be yours. So then you plan to venture far, you leave Letama to the west, and you should come across your employer. And then as shall be me, you'll find me there, yes? She's racist against elephants. But wait. How do I get to that? Oh, it's just here. Oh, there's also a giant elephant there. Ah, oh, it must be a blade to the escort, yes. Ah, glad to have courageous are your companions that well. She seems a touch shaky. Of course, I have thought it before. The harvest in certain regions will the arson stays here. We have no need to fear him. We're being harmed. Perfect. Ah, I must say, this is less than young people already scattered across the wilds. I want someone to roam around and ensure they're safe from attack. Can perhaps frightened by Ark Sodora? I've met such travels before. Well, no matter. But patrol the air as I ask, I must attend to my own harvesting. Okay, Rana from Elzalo, keep an eye on her as you continue your patrol. Oh, there's a giant elephant. Wounded ar- Oh no, there's a wounded arcador. There's a giant elephant. Hello, you pup. It has been five. I've reached the Endwalker expansion. We're just doing the starting quest right now. I got distracted by a side quest. What happened? 
What? They just laid a beast. It's a near thing. It took the first one surprise, but the second knowing Matanga stood in my back and my mind froze some butter fish so big. Mother thought we should let fear, fear wash over us. My shame could not have failed more thoroughly. Not to sound ungrateful, but why did you follow me? Because you ran away, and you're a coward. Or we were to patrol, forgive me. I should have waited for orders instead of running off alone and putting lives in peril. Come, we should return to our employer. I want to be sure the wounded man reached safety. Yeah, whatever. Let me get the aether current here. There's an aether current here. Yeah, I know there is. It was here. I saw it. There. Let me jump! Ah, oh, it does not allow me to jump down there. Allow me, how do I go there? Ah, oh, I need access to that area. To get it. Ah, oh, looks like not today. My colleague told me his rescue, although we had hope and escort from the start, I imagine you hadn't come at all. I have sent you another respect to the workshop, consider your duty as complete. You have my thanks, sir payment, and collect it from Gankana. I suppose we can report to Gankana then. Yeah, we did a horrible job. Mid I, I like that Midgard is still on my head and hasn't... <laughs> Hasn't been moving. He's just sitting there, like my headgear. Kankana. Ah, there you are. Employer express satisfaction with your work. So congratulations, job well done. Uh, so prince of recent chaos, coming ritual has hastily planned. Say at least, consequence artisans have been hard pressed to make everything ready. And times are hard. People have near rely on such tradition to renew the faith and bolster their hearts with the change of the divine. And that foreign artisan would have thrown the whole thing to the survey. Thus your rescue was timely indeed. Let's accept your payment. Happy just agreed upon. Just enough further work. I may have something for you. So. Oh, you still have a blue quest? Quest in Matango. Oh. That's not a blue blue quest for stream. Only the blue quest for Intercurrent is the one for stream. Matanga all the way. Is that for the tribal quest, maybe? I don't see much of them, but elevated ground up may I have better advantage. Matsya, where are you? Go, we climb up there. There are giant elephants roaming around. Oh, there's those turtles and lizards. I don't see much here either. No, leave me alone, somebody help! My sis face came from the north. Oh no, he's being kidnapped. <laughs> Matsya! Where are you? Ah, oh, Imperials!
Matsya, where have you been going? Ah, where did they go? Why are you here? I see you found him in time. Stop running around. You and your friends came to look for me. I don't know how to thank you. On the way home, it took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. Then those men came. Kidnappers. You'd heard that Casadora were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps best to take refuge in the city. Well, consider it me and others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean's all we have. Which decision to make. But you could uh, take care not to travel alone. Question if I may. So understand how strange fiends have emerged from the tower. Can't you tell, tell us about these things? Not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. And there are some barren and settling the resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some taking calling them the tower is out. House of Divinities in the old tongue, it means. But they are not true divinities. They're monsters imitation to bring only death. My stones are coming back. What stones? Oh, <laughs> that those are ones. Yeah, you're unlocking them one by one. There's no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. Time we force contend with these false gods. And thus, you could learn what me about them. Thou not tell us divinities and their true nature. Come on, this way to save us, really? I think you have peddling fish. Uh, to answer your question, yes, of course. I would gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, it's a terrible storyteller. I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. Oh, well, please come to our village. You are good, gods fearing folk, all of us, and would be honored to share our knowledge. And fish. So, say, what sayest thou? Let's help pay a visit to Akiali. Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. So these simulacra of narrowing grass that are being summoned. Any doubt existed before? There can be none now. Give not Hanish or imprisoned in the tower. Pray that we'll be able to save them. Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods. Like it's not you said, we do well studying religious traditions to a Kelly. <laughs> Giant. I'm gonna fight Giant. Elephant. Speaking of which, Giant Elephant. Let me fight you. So I can learn how to play. One thirty-three yam southwest. That's where we're going. So it's near their city. It's, it's near their little town. Forty-four yam to the south. Southeast. Is it just four here as well? 
Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> I thought it was just four. What the heck is this? Why is it the gajillion ones? It's not four. <laughs> Why? What happened? Yeah, everything else is just four, four, four. Why yours is a gajillion? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, it's ten. What the heck? I thought it was just four. What is this suffering? Four seven four northeast. What? Let's go to the quest first. What the heck? There's ten. <laughs> Why? Welcome to Akiali, my friend. Her name is White Beach. Your pants have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. No one of us can tell about our gods. You could do worse than to start with Kanga and old Asvade. I'm there for you at the moment as it happens. Hmm, we wish to know about our gods. Oh, what a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know what once you hail, but the ones are Alice home to many gods. They find the two groups, the Manusia, beings of wisdom, assume the form of men, and Murga, which assume the form of beasts. Together, they are divinities. Their forms and personalities mainly are unvaried. Kind of gentle, others turn to fermental, just like we mortals can be. All our process with great insight can experience by heeding their teachings. We strive to be better people and live better lives. Oh, they have multiple gods. So, it isn't gonna be one primal, or is it a primal with many heads? Just to learn about our gods, you say? That's what I like to hear. Break up your ears and then listen. In ancient time, Manusia and Murga, deities, look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of Manusia, the Murga cast aside their own heads and took upon them those of their foes. Likewise, Manusha coveted the might of Marga, so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus, born new gods who says of both might and wisdom. They ushered the age of harmony between two factions. Then on, since team for one another, Mashusha were an animal faces and Marga limbs of men. What the heck is gonna be crazy? What level is my sage? 82. So I'm gonna make my Dark Knight Skull Summoner and Sage 82. What level is my Dragoon? 86. Okay, we'll wait for that one. Not Dark Knight. And there you are. Learn a thing or two about their god. Our gods, I trust. While well, you were take uh, off talking to the others, remember it's something that may be of interest. You could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch a room at the works. I apologize for the wait, I wish to show the sign so it's the big three of most revered deities. By all means, so we should like to see it. And <laughs> there's a Lalafell one. They are Manusha, you heard of that, them already, yes? Of the three sisters. Center was the eldest, Sindaruva, goddess of wisdom, for this alchemist holds her in the highest. Her right, middle sister, Sindaruva, goddess of wealth, she counts as many traders among her followers. One of the last Minduruva, younger sibling, she presides over the crafts, so beloved by the weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in this works. People keep in their homes for good fortune. Mm. 
In like fashion to Manusha, the deeds of yours are beside the myriad aspects of life. And what of the Murga, if I may ask? Uh, Murga hold power over nature. In these past, they were revered as guardians of the deities of times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. Among them is the god who possesses the goddess head. Uh, he is venerated as a progenitor of the Ar Arkasabur. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. Worship dragons too. Uh, it said that the ancestor of the Stadrop, ruler of Rad Satan, forged a covenant with the dragon divinity in ancient times. The seventy years since acted as guardian deity of the Satrap. Legends holds it. Whenever a Satrap is in need, the dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. Ooh. Stanley and I are gonna be friends with another dragon. Trying to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. Flash and bear for your fate is plain to hear. I'm confident that the information you've finished will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. Mm, it's very kind to you say thank you. I'll pray for your success. Right, leaves time we sought of a trial's acquaintance. Uh, an alchemy is the name of Kidhan. When cross notes were replaced with our place of uh, old the great work further north along the coast. Matsya. The great work. Did you say go to Nidhana? Oh, how I envy you. It's real beautiful, kind of understanding would say she's beautiful. I could stare at the dainty ears, adorable trunk all day, and those eyes. Then you meet her. Take care, don't drown in them. <laughs> you are a fanboy. There was something north. It's 435. Three ninety six yams. Sixty seven yams. It's probably near the the city that we're going. Three ninety seven. Oh, there's a cave. Or twenty nine yams to the east. Their aether right here is just the normal aether. North. I think there's something upstairs. One moment, guys. I'm going up. the water because this is just water is it in the water 
one of these islands. Six, six. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I'm going west. This is not directions. <laughs> That's why I was confused. <laughs> Let me just do that. I was going west. It was not there. <laughs> yeah, it's northeast. Somewhere out there. Let's just continue this. What happened to them? Just noticed they are all dead. What the heck? What happened here? <laughs> I went around, did not notice all the dead bodies. Oh, they're still alive. What happened here? Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. Be you must excuse the poor welcome. Guests. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Have you seen all? Do you not see that they're all? Wow! I just noticed the Stenian spear so long. I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. Ah, are they doing a ceremony or something? People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? What the? <laughs> they just wake up. No, they were not attacked. They were just sleeping. Yes, my friends. Gather round. I have them right here. Are those dragon scales? Now I can continue my experiment. Many thanks. One for me. Those are dragon scales. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. D did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? You can build talisman that resists of temporary? Course. You're the one Kryos, the warrior of light we've been waiting for. This is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. He wants to talk to the dragon. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? 
<laughs> just done a part this. Is there congealed blood I see on your weapon? <laughs> hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. <laughs> no. Those are molesty hands. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. <laughs> so help me. Oh dear, your poor companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? I forgot what I show it was that I have. I am Vizana, the alchemist who I've sends seen the quest elephant to people. Scribe. I forgot we what have it workshops is. across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here at the great work where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. I thought that you guys were attacked, you were just sleeping. Where is her house? Where did they take Estinian? <laughs> Thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world. Your gate will you would assist us with ours. The fellow is still tied up in other investigation. Kevin's an eminently capable substitute. We will spare no effort to aid you. So, if I understand correctly, make talisman that can nullify a of commissions. Did we do? As you know, our tower emits vast concentrations of ether. One cannot go anywhere with ether without being tempered. So, thus, you can only study tower from afar and powerless to deal with <laughs> any concerns consequential way. Our start back who satrapid as welcome is created enchanted talismans. That's allow us all just to venture into the tower even though they lack any protection. Such a thing be possible? But Lee we are still in the midst of testing and we are quite confident. Prior to this, the people long pursued countermeasures against the entire corruption of primals. Methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon skills proved the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. Smiter the dragon, greater. Sick to amplify this protective property to our angle. Okay. Thanks to skill from Edris, His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we'll be ready to conduct a field test. Uh, here is where you and your blessing will lie come in. Whatever it is, just leave it to me. Uh -huh. Better than have my blood drawn, I suppose. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, perhaps so. No, my colleagues, they won't be satisfied with blood alone. Oh my god, what are they gonna extract from Estinian? <laughs> I'll explain greater detail later. You guys are entering from the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I must first know how your blessing shields you. Permission, of course. In that case, Uri and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing all the work point of collapse, we could do with more hands. Grateful and assistance you can provide. You're ready? Then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you accept the great work turns out, there will be hill to the right. Meet your top scenes to some preparations. Got the Himot. Where are you? I 
see you. Ah, I hope you didn't try to find the place or climb the hill. Not all are accustomed to physical strain. I give it for the first sweat, tears, and many sleepless nights. The drunken Deepa. Deepa is a lantern presented to the gods after an, as an offering. Taking inspiration from the tradition of great devices, that's the thousands of biggest. Activation will move certain distance before meeting powerful blasts of ether. Live with corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will appear and severe age or sickness. For a test, you will explode four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin now, whenever you're ready, I should be observing from a safe distance. Drunken Deepa. Commencing etheric exposure testing, repeat. Commencing etheric exposure testing, retreat to safe distance if you're not the subject. We follow it. It's a lantern. We're following a lantern. Where are you going? Reading Aether, please stand back. Okay, yeah. Stand back. How far? Oh, there. Yay! Nothing happened. Just like power blast either, it suffered no ill effects. Massaging all repressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirm. Search human test, please follow. Nico always looks so in awe for everything. <laughs> And we are cooking something for Kuma for my anniversary. I'm excited about it. Breathing Ether, please stand back. Discharge, please gather. Discharging Ether. Suck another powerful blast of Ether. Suffer no ill effects. Subject stomach, bowel integrity holding. Confirm. Resuming tests, please follow. Where are we going, little lantern? Okay, please stand back. Ready to charge. I like discharging the whites upon me. The stock and other power from a either suffer no ill effects. Blessing light appears to keep me safe from harm. One last time. Oh, so fortified, rated, depressive, no irregular, just confirm, assuming test, please follow embrace for final discharge. Oh, need harness here. Riding ether, please stand back. Let us go. Discharge ether. Mm, it's like the strongest last feeder yet. That completely unscathed. Their exposure testing completed. Please collect and deliver me to the supervisor and alchemist. So, I should train your composure and your humors. Okay. Okay, it is Nidhana. You return not on your knees, promising sign. Come, let me take a depot off your hands. Thank you. I shall open it see there and when we test uh, the talisman. This is nausea or anything of the sort. You're feeling perfectly fine. Yep. In the strike of your blessings, you and doubt. There is no risk to the tower will corrupt your ether. With this, you can request your aid in the task ahead with these new hearts. Hmm, you're capable of warrior too, are you not? Would you be an enable to assisting me in another errand? You see, your talisman requires the use of special ink, but we have exhausted our stores of King Regent for it. Spirit weed. There's grows not far from here. I would like to go harvest some. 
Uh, what are we seeing? Spate of uh, kidnappings, however. We have Sedora to have a loan at our pair. That counts. Me at my escort. I would not compensate you for your troubles, of course. Alright. On your debt, without further ado, let's head to Kaja Kajaya's footsteps. It's to trade the road which runs east of our gate. Where do we want me to go? Over there. See, simply imagining it, we feel like we're being followed. Oh, look out! Oh, Imperials. Oh god, so it gave me a fright to think a moment to adventure the side of safety of the work. Look at sisters, I have to come with me. You're alright, I hope. Good, good, let's continue on. Lesson isn't far now, just with the spillers and up the rise. Southeast, one moment. Hmm, here we are, got Jaya's footsteps. Jaya was a great dancer, those follow her. Well, you know, they've done the place to train, dedicate the dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once. Don't be so good, stand guard. You never turn to like, so turn soon. Better safe than sorry. Picking up some herbs. Yes, that would be Rad's at Han. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. Back off, monsters. We got herbs to get. <laughs> The faithful citizens huddle inside the city wall, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Oh, what can you tell me about the satrap? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzadhan. 
Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasotra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasotra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to free Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. It was a direct ancestor of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Razad Han to thrive all these years. And it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. I told you I need to adjust those ratios. I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towers, and what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Owen? Oh. Another, another body, body, another time. time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plans. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned. Or is it the ancients the that stopped Owen? And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. But Daniel is such a theater kid. Have enough spirit read to last a good while. Thank you for keeping us watch. Let's head back to the Great War, shall we? One ninety four Yom's Northwest. Can I jump here? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> a lot of the intercurrents are down there. A, a location that I cannot go yet. I also have cereal at the moment. <laughs> I got some cereal while I was listening to the cuts. <laughs> How dare you hit Behemoth? If only we could combat when riding the mounts. <laughs> Go smack them with Behemoth. They can fly here. They're harvesting.
just uh, realized why is Behemoth's music so relaxing? Is it really the theme fitting for Behemoth? <laughs> Like we're cruising around. And thanks again for assistance with your help. Uh, we're that a little bit close for bleeding the house, man. So much place I can look at my gratitude. If you'll excuse me, I shall return to my work on the talisman. Ah, you're both back. Excellent. This is Warsha. I have a message for you, Mrs. Sindana. I've seen the stores in Giant's Gull are running low. Ah, when I last looked, there were still plenty. It's quite before Rianji told everyone about their tempering cure. The Sinja shared his knowledge of dragons. Sir Pierce have since inspiration to fashion a number of thousand new thousand portrait types. I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far it for me to complain. We'll need to replenish our stores. It's a bad ten if this, if you like. So we should offer, my dear boy. And you'd go to send you, which we are long welcome. Numbers are at large. Ah, a lot I have to press another task on you so soon. My ass can fetch some giant skull. Oh, in case you're not familiar, just got a type of ore found on the island. Owing to hardness and clear conductivity, its application, many disciplines ought to mean up. Where is so where's found? The plea named Jessica Gone is far away. Take much of your time and impose you once more. Alright. Thank you, Panorama Drive. This is a man named Zainuya. Zainuha, he will furnish you with the oil. Okay. At least permit to accompany you. So it happens to have an errand of my own. It will take me to outpost nearby. Can you borrow a pair of Hamsa? <gasps> oh, by all means. Have you tried with them? We'll survive our still training. Bring the hamster driver and sweep you there when you're ready. What are hamsa? We will see. Oh, I see a blue quest. Blue quest, blue quest. Alchemist or dancer. How can I go up? Help! 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 There. <laughs> I got stuck a little bit. Are you on Aetherite Quest? Aether current Dalamuk. Yeah, uh, moment of venture. My colleagues has gone missing. She said she's going to Kadaya and Jai's got some bits of extra. She hasn't come back. I'm close as fur. My son shift changed. I can very leave my kid over the cell. Oh, you can find her if I share for me. Alright. You're too kind. She be Kadaya's got stuff. You and I have for you with black hair. Sure, we happy to see you. It was the last time you were by. Did you miss a chance to meet our adventure aiding this little boat issue? Oh, we're going back to where we were early. One moment, kid. I'm gonna fetch somebody. Varshan. Oh, that's what we're riding. It's little dodos. <laughs> we're riding dodos. First, let me go up to fetch somebody.
Andrea footsteps. Where are you? Oh, here. Somebody's looking for you. Ah, what do you mean? I'll get back to work? Oh, I haven't really been out that long. I should really go. I was hoping you better look at the stage before I left. I'm sure you're busy with good at the moment. What do you mean? Thank you. Respect the walls. Could you make sure the stage is in order? Sure enough, we can use a fresh coat. Are they dancing? Close waivers explicitly in the wind, no problems here. Yeah, some old hole in the floor, can't be good. There's a hole in the floor. Any problems, floor fee? We'll fix them next time. Thank you for checking. Now it's your have never met you until now. You wouldn't happen to be adventurous and better students of Valdetian, aren't you? You are? Here I was delegating menial tasks. If I had known I. Oh, so my travelers like you, you see, I was studying to be a dancer under Mrs. Nashmir at one time. Wanna see the realms I travel for performances. Maybe I still can, not as a dancer, but of course, but an alchemist. For your back to great work, I don't want to cause any more trouble than I already have. Stage is 82. Um, one moment, Varshan. Let me submit this quest. I'll come back to you. There you are, Harry. Oh, your jewelry helped me call the good sir stage inspection while you were while you were initiated. So you can, you know, lost our chance to become one of the answer of fortunate injury. She's working real sick, injured as an alchemist. Happy to meet you as I am. Ah, I took it up our decks. So, let's go, let's go, Varshan. Let's ride a little bird. Ah, uh, here's our Hamsa. It could just look familiar. It gets close kin to your, yours and Dodo's. <laughs> Hamsa long been kept livestock down there. How many hatcher may be found here? Lives are just recently raised with monsters from the tower. Like I said, hatchery brings to wait near the tower. A regent host purpose remnants as an outpost. And that's where my errand takes me. Our own destination was some stroll away. No addition, let's make for the outpost. Set for us. Let's go. Ready? Then let's report. You only need to ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. <laughs> look at me! Look at me! <laughs> Charmy, look! I'm riding right, a little bird. Charmy, look! I'm riding a chicken. Take care for me, sir. Let's 
Sword Legend holds which will manus yeah, against the Murga before he casts it in the context. Oh, look at that chicken! <laughs> so adorable. Look at that tower. I'll put myself on the beach. Oh. <laughs> I like riding this chicken. <laughs> Are here. And here we are, man of the radiant host. This out was the first line defense against the tower. With the young Varshan on the errand of the side trap. And hit him, he successfully bade me collect her report. Must be such by heart gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for unflagging dedication. It was a our duty, and we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for its boundless benevolence, certain of one so young could be regarded as callous. I have enjoyed relative peace and calm in these past few days. Remains front line of battle, no place for children. Predecessor of two often travel alone. It's been what, two years now since you talked over? Wonder how long fellow is faring. Like those before him, who went to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Whatever he may be now, I'm certain he is well. Myself, assure you that all do I do among volition and gladly. Pray you do not think of ill of His Excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my fate to set up is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. Do not overcome by sadness. Something were to befall you, for you are a little brother to us all. Take care. Do you hear? I will, Navi. Thank you. Who might this be? Not finished by the look of him. Mr. Judus, our youth and contingent, I come to assist making of the talisman. Oh, no yours, are you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me what situation like. Just for exchange of information with our soldiers, both parties will stand to learn something of value, I believe. Excellent idea, again, not perceiving the nature of the threat, some peers are understandably anxious. We would be glad to any tidings you can share. You two bring Varshan to lay's report, answer any questions that he may have. I've heard about you, a visitor from Georgia. Is there anything you can tell us with the love for Roy? Mm -hmm. We had owned their ones behind the tower and they declare war on the whole world. Why are they doing this? What is it that they want? This we don't understand. Mm. 
what? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet you won't lose those battles to have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have. Like our Yosha and Fast Eastern Brothers. Kuseyo. Mm -hmm. You wish to know about tower? To be honest, I know little and less about ourselves. This tower of Zot, this folk taking calling it, suddenly appeared where it did in the Isle of Muronir. We're safe for the same place of this is to go too far into the water and you'll expose yourself to our thingy there. Foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing the tower with your home in your homeland? Our saga are not unique, then our hopes will still lie with the talismans. Let's keep the monsters contained until they're ready. Oh, if the talisman works, you can destroy the towers. Curse to me, yet appropriately to use our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, and we patrol the streets, dealing with the herd or for unknown threats such as now. We train hard and beat only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we have struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down, the Asians they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. Our towers of Georgia, do they like my spawn monsters? We had this one prime monster. So it's much the same everywhere, with every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside data to be answered. We have the blue quests, no, no blue quests. Marshawn. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? Kobe said, lightning for you as it was for them. Need relation trading hub, both Razatan or Janet received steady stream of news from abroad. Last the stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. The dearth of information, everyone will be grateful for your account. But come, you had best see the original errand, as mine will keep me away here a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. We're not but to straightforward, you'll need to follow the road east upon Lamsa, you'll arrive before you know it. Though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. Alright, Hamsa, let us go. Hamsa appears we want to return home, directly offers you its back. Come separate the steeds, we could radiant this keeper, hamster hatchery to mount it. Yes. Look, catch this little chicken. I'll go there. <laughs> Look at this little chicken. I sit here at your destination and I have some dashes off. Say no, huh? I need the rocks. Giant squall. Ah, I need the giant squall grounds. I'm just gonna do this. Something you could far. Yeah, I need the order. Let us go for alchemy, you say. Of course, I shall have it. I'm able to sit down deal with the tower. This is at least we can do to provide them the materials they need. Ah, are you sack first for Jets Gold? Oh, wait, set to left my side for our alchemist friends. When you deliver it, help. Good folk, great work. Know that we're grateful for the efforts. If they need more, they need less. I saw an important icon here. Very important icon. Triple triad. Plus all open same. You flip, you flip. 
flip your own. Ah, that's weird. Still lost. Haha. <laughs> what did you give me? Isaka. Oh, we can teleport back. Nidana, I have a thing for you. Welcome back. I hope you have giant skull. Here it is. Big sack. Oh my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. I have everything we need to make our prototype. One that should be able to keep all passing most rigorous tests. When it's ready, it'll be time for the true test. Please uh, take your ease while you can. I wonder what happened to Steam man. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. <laughs> Taskmasters. Virginia's alive. <laughs> you have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. They had better be, or all this effort was for naught. Peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavnev, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn, against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Poetic and ominous to a fault. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you think. Plan Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, 
I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. Ah, he's here. What is it? What did you see? That theater kid is here. And Daniel. Fan Daniel, are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. At long last. They succeeded. Congratulations. How would they test Look, it? we have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. We've named it a warding scale for the time being. Ooh. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. It is an invention of historical significance. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me, or knock me senseless. Ah, uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Nidana, what? I... I are you certain you wish to do this? Yeah, why do you want to do it? If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us or you. Be on your guard. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there.
Go to this beach. Jump! Done. Are you sure about this? I'd rather find your boat than expected. I won't complain. All the remains board and we on our way. Oh, the peace is gonna be corrupted. Do not stay your hand. Quest of fate does not come to that. You must protect yourself. I can't seem to fulfill my role, but you and your blessing are one of a kind. And perhaps my only hope of toppling the tower. Six. Do not hesitate to do what must be done, whatever that may be. Oh no. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. Oh no. What if that falls? I should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. Hold it properly. Any moment now. The shield. It's working. And you, you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. I'm sure about this. Oh, the protection is getting weaker. So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. A few more steps. To the sisters, we made it, and the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. What if something takes you from there? Oh, ah, I knew it. <laughs> And she will drop it. You 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 went in front of me without protection, you What the heck? And you will drop the scale for sure. Wow, this is bigger than the other one. Oh, she's gonna be in one of those now. Ah, oh, there she is! Hurry before. Oh, and Daniel is here. There we go! There we go! Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. Smack and Daniel! No! Oh, you can't do this! Please! Don't go in the tower, Rusi! 
Oh no! And this. Uh, he's in there now. What the heck, Ben Daniel? A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Hmm. The similarities are striking. My, my! Such hostility! Never before has my artistry so displeased. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. Patrons of old? What are you talking about? Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asimov. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. How to explain? But perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. Are you Owen? The one that we... Oh, yeah, we can see it. Um, at your service. What? Your arm on <laughs> Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met, day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled and ripe for decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, oh, oh the memory of it. <laughs> My poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by love that we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend, our first and greatest emperor. And just as I had planned, he set our way with empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. 
Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armand. No matter how vast one's empire, or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth, majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? That's why I knows how to build these things. He's a, he was an airlag. So, so easily distracted. Why? I, I almost, almost left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell. As for As your, your friend, friend, you need not worry. worry. These pawns are far more useful, useful to me alive as fuel, as fuel for the, the primes. primes. If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. We shall meet again. Not in what it my inspired own, oh, no. But somewhere more suitably grandiose. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. At least we know that that talisman works, but and Daniel throw it away. Ha! I hate that ass him. Ah, your turn, Mrs. Nilhana. Man, no shepherd preserved just when we keep making the talisman. Support this at once. I mean, while Mr. Turn did great work. Talisman works uh, even inside, but yeah, just avoid Asians. <laughs> Thakred, she is in the tower. Gonori, alright, yeah, isn't it? it? What happened? Pan Daniel, as usual. So then, after all, damn that bastard. Sure, I want to do more. You were right to return here first. Thread uh, warily, lest we endanger Nidhana and other captives. Satrap of Rod Satan. 
First, you must inform everyone's situation. Need Hannah's colleagues included. I called it together in gathering. I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh, need Hannah. Can you answer me this? Don't let her stop the tower. She's still alive, yes? Then... We must make warding scales as many as we can. The prototype works perfectly. This does not approve at peril it's herself. Let's make more scales and she and all those were taken might be saved. Ah yes, the alchemist we know he will help win this fight. My friend, Satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers heartfelt condolences, retrace the pledge, provide you with all that you require. To that end, made me give you this link, bro. He might personally discuss production rewarding skills with you. And for yours and visa files, a barren invitation. In her report, Mrs. Nevada noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. Fact came Satra's attention, recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition, taking a person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. So agreeable, he will not accompany me to Rad Satan for an audience with His Excellency. Should be honored, of course, closer cooperation between our lands can only be benefit to all. Then settle, please come to the gates east of Skyrim's Gold Grounds, and we will show you in the city. Where is that? Oh, it's a jump. Can I jump here? Nope. There is a wall. What the heck is that? Oh, it's the tower radiating something. I cannot go to the lower half yet. Is there a nearby ether current? Southeast. It's all down there. The rods at the top. Wash on. All present, let us proceed. How in threat to the city is currently a state of high alert. So, this is your place for entry. Hindo, grant your special permission. I ask you to remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Fadnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han.
ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Most people here are here in Aura. Here we are. Megaduta. Megaduta. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. Oh. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. But not everything went to plan. I assume you speak of Nidana. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. As you wish. 
The leader is a dragon? You travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia. But you are known to me. Even here have we heard of the scions of the seventh dawn. The a great worm is their actual leader. Oh, but their face is ugly. <laughs> I am Vritra. And for years uncounted had this isle served as my home. Are uh, you Nidhogg's brother? Vritra. Of the first boon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to trace Who answered it? Nidhogg. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard's former school, oh. I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a Sartrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge. As the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, Adopting the example of the Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the Great Worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and old sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Athan. But if Vitra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A charade. Yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. May I just pop it? great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. Tis here, buried within the semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous ah. vessel for my will. The version is also him. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered, destiny in warm blood. Oh, you know, he knows. <laughs> From the very first, we sense the nature of one another. Yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. 
not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of France, Allah. With all haste, we have three great worms now. Would the next expanses be related to dragons? I wonder if Don Trilla will reveal another great worm. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. The Scions. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods in Padlethan and Kartanau, I am told. How many spice do you have, Dragon? Upon that strength <laughs> I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided. To make use of as you see fit. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends? Yeah, we have our that? friends. We need to do that other quest line. There's no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Yeah, we need to do that other quest line. Estinia's already Will left. Thou not lend thine aid? Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. That's why he looks ugly. He's no his other eyes not. Ned Hug looks more menacing. Ah, the meeting took a rather unexpected turn. But now we have a clear objective ahead of us. I'll rejoin comrades Charlie and must there a suitable crew for it for it? The tower is locked. Oh, if you have already done so, be sure to tune it right here for departing. Unless you enjoy violent nausea. Already done that, thank Red. I like that Midgar just sits on my head whenever he likes to. <laughs> he has become my favorite minion. <laughs> ah, we're getting used to Bombi Tavnir. Come back, Chili Charlene. You cannot cast your death, eh? We need you to battle to come. Uh, now then, investigation here remains. What uh, that's over, we can take stock developments and discoveries. All right, we do the other quest now.
Hitting the books. Is there an aether? Yeah, there is an aether. When it's near already, let's just walk. Let's go mid card. And it's like on my head here. Does this mean we just go to a library for this one? Trial! What you need? Directions are easy enough to follow, I hope. In the case, stand out for the doors of Numenor and Sherlin's grandest collection of books and tomes. This building is actually only an entrance, now one of many. Because Numenon extend deep beneath the surface like the roots of a tree. The vast walls, a great Kuba library, pale in comparison to Numenon's endless maze of subterranean chambers. Citizen Charlotte is free to enter and produce its shelf? Well, most of its shelves. Only Archons afforded access to certain restricted books. This patch is stolen and robbed. Investigate those. Meanwhile, I'll say often all come help me search through the stacks open in general public. Such present more of problems to non citizens, you're only permitted to browse the first floor near the entrance. Even so, there should be a number of books with touch upon Sherlin, history, or horror fantasy. That's will find a study in a relevant publication, I promise you. Working knowledge of those subjects will make it far easier to spot the sort of clues we're looking for. How about it, shall we? I've been told others meet us at the stone benches over there. Plus, I found some promising tomes. Happy reading! What the heck? We're gonna be a nerd! books on Numenon. Really, I cannot go down? I'll jump. It does not allow me. Time worn. Dome. Let me read. I have a favorite of wisdom. During the case of Six Umbral Calamity, Archon Jungcraft, founder of Charlion, bore witness the madness and savagery of men, brought to brink of despair. Upon raising a settlement on an island in Northern Empty, he instructed his people thus Renounce the ways of war, pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason. The Charlians took the heart to words of their savior, and then swore to serve as stewards of wisdom. A foundation of accumulating, accumulated learning, they built a homeland unlike any other. Nation born from strength of minds rather than strength of arms. With knowledge economic came shrewd trading, with knowledge of our culture come bountiful crops, the engineering brought wells and sewers, and these swallows over water. Wealth of expertise could be bartered for wealth in coin, and their wisdom spread throughout the world. Or my as a whole would thrive. So it's no matter of trials or relations of the age, the citizens of Charlene would live by their founder's teaching, for the sake of a better tomorrow, for the sake of a brighter star, they would eschew the tools of war with the knowledge delivered the world. What the heck is your hair? Are you a... What are you? What the heck are you a robot? <gasps> Look at this. Sir? Sir, are you a robot? What the heck is that? <gasps> he disappeared. Let me read. Growing City. In the years to follow the founding of Charlene, civic policy and other matters in import were decided by the Ecclesia. He ran away. Civic policy and other matters in port were decided by the Ecclesia public forum at which every citizen was eligible to speak. As city's globalization grew, however, this format became increasingly impractical. A large number of participants gave rise to ever longer debates, resulting in significant delays of vital resolutions. Various measures were introduced in an attempt to curtail protracted discussions. In the year 201, the Sixth Astro Era was ultimately decreed the Charlotte to transition new form of governance. The nation now be led by a body of 99 members, citizens chosen from amongst their peers by means of nationwide vote. Thus was the forum as we know it today conceived and created. The 
Reflection to the heavens. What is this? Have you gazed to the skies above? Relate the mysteries you contain therein. Speak not of shifting cloud patterns, but the vastness beyond. The sun and twinkling tapestry of the night. Something known above us finite, finite space, yet amongst the leading thinkers of our age, search scholar, depiction of the boundless sea of stars has firmly taken root. Alas, heaven's sea remains unreachable. Hey yo, what is this? This is and Walker. We're in Charlie and reading some books. How are you? Fox up now. Oh, why are all believed to revolve around the sun? This technology of Alan came close to understanding the laws which govern the star abyss. It's a who launched the Dalamo and sought to expand beyond our earthbound existence. Having read the ancient ambitions, I wonder, so interested in this field, study of wax or rain. How are doing? I'm doing fine. <laughs> we just met with a dragon earlier. What I will tell you, the internal tessellation will arrange differently in the sun past. The purposes continue to shift up the perceptibly but measurably as we journey into the future. Shock you to learn that stars live further and further apart and may need those who forever are eager to learn more. <laughs> this book is on the wrong subject. Search for works on TV because of forum and his search earlier. You, I don't care, game. I want to read that. <laughs> well, a word manual. What is this about? For forever 20 summers. My beloved secures knowledge of you with learning for your health, the ability to feed and dress your body as you should. I do once engaged in foolish practices, but one night and grows into philosophical study, I had an epiphany. For all the world's mystery that drives a reckless abandon, we have so very few years of life in which we achieve our goals. And thus do I share you this mantra. I am forever 20 summers young. Number itself is unimportant. You could be 19, 23, or 40. Whatever age you are, let's cover this manual. Let that be the age you aspire to remain. To remind the full help you. <laughs> what is this mantra? <laughs> Just to think of that you are young. <laughs> the same time available to spend upon your chosen research. Another day, another moon, another summer to grasp a greater choice your pursuit. Reach a follow will explore secrets of maintaining one's physical condition, biological, ethological, might gain viewpoint. Nope, <laughs> I don't care about that one. <laughs> I have read that, right? Let about the blue cover. Uh, oh, there's more here. <laughs> I like the random topics. Red covered book. Roads of the Old, the color. Ooh. Many years ago, back to Stalia, Pennsylvania hinterlands, Charlie and Colony once tried. Settlement was originally established a mere outpost to the study of Ethereal Sea in the year 1311 like six astral era. Or dispatched the euros are found to one thing and their demands encourage the gradual expansion of structures and services. Through a spread a growing community of academics, the area was further inundated with the Nurian students hoping to share the renowned wisdom of the Charlians. Fifty years later, the forum passed a no motion to recognize have become the flourishing town as an official Charlian colony. It was a residence of the calling of the colony self Charlian, which led to no small amount of confusion when discussion turned the subject of the motherland. In response, some Charlian inhabitants expressed the name would simply refer to this the Emporium. Upon the Exodus, however, goblins and treasure hunters claimed for themselves the corner of the abandoned colony and gave it another name, Idleshar. Charges are going to use most prominent features of Idol Shard, most of the last complaint, the information of the forum, the coverage of the Sherlock Motherland region. Brightly covered, colored. The story of Sherlock. Oh, long, long ago, on the island Northern Sea, there lived a rugged man by the name of Newcraft. Newcraft, a study of student of astrology, divined a flood of terrifying proportions to soon sweep over the lands of Eurasia. So it was he who built a gigantic ship, assembled the crew, and set sail for that imperial land. The flood arrived as foretold, and that the horror of strangely churning waters drove the people towards the ocean. It was there, however, that Nimkaf's crew hauled them aboard his ark. But the danger had not passed, a towering wave rose, threatening to smash their vessel to pieces. With only a moment's spare, Nimkaf wove a might spell of teleportation and shifted the entire ship's shape of adopt a Balatius spine. Surrounding regions, the hut was there alongside them. So long for disputes over dwindling supply of food, who led to violence and bloodshed. Saddened by the sight, Newcraft gathered him 
To him, screw and screw, grateful passengers abandoned the ark to those reddened peaks. Uh, they journeyed to the coast where they built a new ship, set upon returning the northern seas. Landed on a beach and on an island, settled upon that very spot. The settlement prospered and grew, in time became the city of Charlien. We live in to this day. Okay, fundamental out understanding of Charlien's history and the foundation of the forum. Head outside, round a point, await your companion. Alright. We have basic understanding of Charlie. Still you, what are you? Hey! What are you? Why are there little androids? Where are you guys? Sorry, were you waiting long? I want to make sure I borrowed at least a few promising volumes. Self and Unquell should be along shortly. I also like familiar fashion as far as I could see. No titles in the Argon stacks mentioned the final day specifically. You have no choice but start with tangentially relative and tones. And yet, there are even that. The present, the plans just came through quickly as we dare and shared discoveries as we make them. It would be nice to invite everyone to the estate. Very comfortable place to read. A ready supply of hot tea. Oh, I was quite, <laughs> always quite fond of reading outside. How about their precious visit? You miss their home. It's been difficult. After our arrival, when I speak, one of the family servants to ask how things were. It seems our dear father is trying to stuff that even if Alvin and I were to return Charlian, we're not to be allowed to cross the threshold. Your father is a dick. Our measures indeed. Hope that our efforts to understand his position that the forum perhaps lead to a reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day, I'm certain of it. What have you, Grahawk? Have you been vi to visit your family, or do they not live here in the city? Ah, oh, well, my situation is also somewhat complicated. I was raised in Charlian, yes, but I was born rather further away. In southern regions of Ilsabard, in fact, for generations now my people have dwelt in Corvos, a coastal region opposite to the island of Savnir. I've been found a city, conquered the land, and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes from Ipo to serve as laborers. Of course, massive earthquakes for the Umbral Calamity brought an end to the Empire's reign, and when the fifth calamity froze, these solid men of the tribes living in Corvos braved the journey back to Riorzia. Ancestors, however, chose to remain, and that they might prevent the remain remnants of elegant technology from being misused. Is in Corvus under Garlian rule? For the past 50 years, yes, some symbols of local culture remains, as is the case for most imperial provinces. But Garlian will remain the legion Locus Ammonius. When I was a boy, a nearby town came under the jurisdiction of the illustrious imperial family, nobles of House Darnus. Oh! How stars demonstrate a singular interest in elegant civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. Sometime already, voices had been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the elegant eye no longer passed to our eldest children, as their reliability is in Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and the decision was made for our ties and knowledge and traditions of Alec. Last child born with the elegant eye, I was given over to the custody of friends and students of Valdician, had me registered as a Charlian citizen. Never even considered to forgive me. It was an unkind question. If a tankard was taken by the Archon Louis Wa, was he not? The stories of adopted wives and rescued orphans are more common among Charlians than you might think. Yet, regardless of our origins, we are all provided with an equal opportunity to live. The sufficient prayers be chastity, we outsiders can even earn the wanted title of Archon. Exactly why I have such love for this country. Why we should to remain a nation of the citizens can be proud. Here, here, another good reason to get the bottom form of stubbornness, aside from trifling matter of our impending doom. As usual, well, we tried to make some headway to these books. Our company should be arriving in any moment now. Oh, 
Kyle and Alfino. He returned with our selections, although I must say the pickings are quite slim indeed. Mrs. Kuala has already flicked through every history book devoted to disasters and more than which barely made mention of them. As such, we'll look into research papers on both calamities as well as articles written by prominent forum members. Perhaps when watch the final days comes with a, from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask you a few questions related to the final days. I'm the only one here who didn't witness events at Amarot first hand and fear I may be overlooking critical details. Many thanks, now where to begin? First things first, what kind of phenomena do the ancient encounters the final days through night? Problems and red power summon from the ether. Which kind of phenomena can I have? Complete the civilization of created creation magics. Yes, and folding catastrophe would wrought havoc on all manner of life. Okay, it's extended to the ancient themselves, causing powers of creation spiral out of control. Fear and despair manifested in terrible, tangible fashion. Meteors raining from the sky, fire erupting from the ground, a love paradise, and describable abomination prowling the streets. The more or less aligns with my understanding. If only the arts of creation would survive until the present day. It might have a, something substantial to analyze. Best of our knowledge, however, those techniques were not preserved or passed on. Stolas or mice in the closest no magic of that summoning rituals promulgated by the Athens. Rather no else of note which herald the approach of final days. Tasha would engulf it after all one, he said again with a keen sound from the lens. Half and odd, you answer this one. <laughs> Give us a call of a smart rat will spread. I'm rotting spoke of the keening sound that rose from the land itself. This is our region. I can ask me. Never did hear the sound myself, of course, as we are in the midst of the madness. The ground was crying out, he said. The little harbinger of doom must have been quite extensive, probably quite loud. Speaking of Numenon's mammoths, as many books mention of such sound. Last but not least, we describe how the Asians sought to quell the imminent calamity. What sense did that actually take there? They summoned the Zodiac. Yes, so the Lord was serving us his heart. So many gave themselves a sacrifice to bring him into being. We do not know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star, and only that by his godlike will the loss of nature set all right. Then once the bastard just dressed, the offers. Ancients offered up further sacrifice to heal the ravages of the final days. Life sprouted anew, and this fledging soul they intended to render unto the dear, a trade to have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or might have, uh, had we not any fellows not manifested the opposition in form of idol. Thank you, both of you, for a detailed review. I feel much more confident about my understanding of events. Well, first in mind, it makes you wonder that the of is really mean, speaking, bringing back the final days. Seeing what they're doing with those towers of theirs, pressing people to summon Brahma's kind of catalyst. Are they attempting to mirror the conditions caused by unstable creation magics? Are they simply using final days to figure speech? Being a metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash. But this whole point is conjecture at this stage. Let us return to attention to form, shall we? We should keep an eye out for Stola. This, this time we began studying these research papers. We're waiting for Stola. I'm the last am I who extended my search on Archon stacks to produce one or two possible useful books. I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Rianjay learned of the source's reflection from the Gerun Oracle. Potential cause panic and confusion, that tomb was steamed and found few finds the way in the Great Google Library. It's even likely the knowledge of an unsundered world, not to mention the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting myself and a curious scholar to find. That's the reason that my colleagues would be they are concerned counselors should be perforce largely ignorant of the subject. 
Yet when you confronted Master Fortune of the knowledge of Telephoria and their machinations, he scoffed the suggestion to propose a threat. Seeing that event, the forum would know if the final days were truly upon us. In Shongli Square's conclusion, whatever privileged wisdom is guiding the forest behavior is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. That means excuse myself from reading duty or oh, whatever they can measure final days are now. So you yet hold something of value. You're thinking of leaving, were you? There are plenty of work to be everyone. <laughs> Stola had a glow up. Yeah, this would happen in Shadowbringers. They very much feel like the age of Stola's research assistant. It's a bit far away. <laughs> Go finish it. ARR. Oh dear, look at how sauce. What about your studies? Are we able to find any books on the subject I mentioned? Day was well spent. Should you wish to read them again, ma'am? It's a different process. This will point your right direction. For the moment, this is take well deserved rest, so we might be able to make a research for quite some time. Alice. See, that last thing appears. Ready for a tea break? I uh, you know I am. I'm missing my neck and shoulders a bit. I heard Gus and I stretch my legs and walk around a bit. Now, last time down the harbor, don't you? Come and meet me in near, near the outside tables. Treat you to their coffee. It's quite good. We're just gonna chill with Alice. Wouldn't mind that. As we said, ever I see how very Charlie and no other gourmet cafe has sprung up to compete for customers. When crowd gives you an idea before place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and engage the mood of the city? I'm just that here, every citizen has to say what they offer, right? Even learn something new worth try, don't you think? Beer on the ear. What, what is this? Uh, can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? Looking for your table, and I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. There's, a, there's the answer. We're simply wondering if you knew the Telophoroi. It's items of peace, I promise to end the world. Behold, dear end. Wait, you're house of a little girl, aren't you? This man of you is obviously a foreigner. I heard you were disowned for helping outsiders indulge their barbaric whims, and here you are giving truth to the rumor. Thank you to leave me be. I'm not to say the likes of you. I oh, must apologize. It's foolish me to expect an ounce of civility from one so enlightened. Come. Yeah, I know that they are snobs. I want to smack all of them, especially your father. He's a dick. I want to smack him. Hello. So you don't believe I have the fire, sure? For excuse interruption, we were hoping you might share a thought and love render a bunch of plans. My goodness, it isn't the young miss level of our... My apologies, I work in office at the forum. Word reach, Master Fortunal. That I was helping you. I see. So sorry you bothered me. Yeah, Alice, we cannot. We cannot be able to get the answers with you here, Dickon. Welcome, sir. What can I offer you today? What? Is that Mr. Alice? I see. My word, how long has it been? Far too long. Meet Tikan, the owner of the last stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion in between lessons at the studio. 
Seems like an age ago. I remember hearing that you and Master Afano had set sail for yours yet. Then you never came back. The gossip of father is only the pair of you. Everything all right at home? It's complicated. I have ex uh, expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it's house love and Lord. No matter how discreet Master Foshmo may have been, the family's doings never stay secret for long. Things being what we are, what brings you back to the city now at all times? You have questions, only Sharon had answers. Tell me, Master Dickon, have you heard anything about the apocalypse called the final days? Hmm, what is it like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid. That's what you're here to find out. Information on this apocalypse? Yes, whatever we can learn, unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there were more I could do to help. Hmm, but maybe there is. You're a visitor to Charlotte, aren't you? Then few will know your face. You should be able to pass you off a server with none the wiser. Finish burning your orders, strike up friendly conversation while they're setting down their food. You might get the answers you're looking for. Not a bad idea. I hate to ask, but what do you think? Is, are they going to give me a costume because I'm gonna keep that? Spirit, pay attention now. I'll explain me each dish you think. See, it's a chatty group sitting by the water's edge. Omelets for the regulars, a Highlander named Gishla. Sitting at a table in front of her. So behind them, this Mikotic gentleman ordered open baked lobster. You got that? Not sure. Explain again. Omelet for Gishla. Right? <laughs> Gisla. Is that a feature piece so called chapter yours? Yeah, they say we're bark hero prevailed multiple the battles. Some avatar perfected violence. And almost scanning how closely my Steven description. What the odd coincidence. Oh, it's the first the chatty ones. Hello. The tea set. Oh, but he said lovely, thank you. Atelofuhu? I'm sorry, I've never heard of them or their final days. Friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you want to hear about the ritual arcane practices, six actual era, common or esoteric, I have you talk your ear off. You want you want an omelet. Ah, finally, two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in. No time to waste. What the love for? Ah, uh, yes. Remember seeing the name in the latest gazette? And that's some grand claim about the end of days. Same old senseless war mongering. When these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood, to stay out of it, the former made the right choice. I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Smith to it here. I want the lobster. At last, over the big lobster is mine. I have no idea how long I've scrimped and saved and suffered for this heavenly dish. Final days, the first I've heard of it. Although, I would say my friend rush off his feet. Must be busy, time to be a gleaner. Ah, don't know what gleaner is? They're a collector of sorts. Travel the world procuring things you haven't got here in Charlene. Priceless books, unusual live specimens, and so forth. Name those folk patrol the reapers in the fields, picking up every grain which was pierced. I have at all accounts, Lenin is the most meticulous demanding profession. Uh, if these teleport make good and their audacious threats, then many can catalog rarities could be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? What's the harbor? You'll see what I mean. They're cutting loads in from the docks all day. Never been so hectic before, not like this. Wait, is Charlie in a giant spaceship? <laughs> like giant arc? That's why that's the logo. <laughs> I will say, I draw customers, are you able to get anyone talking? Interesting, they seem one of our final days to save whatever big news the gazettes are printing. Even the has nothing to offer, it's the best source of gossip in the city. Or the seat of knowledge, going with Preston John, sharing no one whispers it in the wrong ear. In case, I think you play a part as well. Just a cup of coffee, I promised. 
but let's enjoy drink somewhere else, shall we? Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossip from their wagging. This place is pretty. Nice, this will do nicely. Out no wind, out of sight. When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Grahal said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that Father's venomous performance was part of that strategy, to keep us at arm's length. Perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been. How being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. A vast complex beneath the island. Charlian is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Well, that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Wait, didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more yeah. than usual? Well, I, think I really think Charlie and is a spaceship. And <laughs> they're going. The they're going to the moon. <laughs> if the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden I burst swear, if this is. <laughs> then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the Forum is planning. Yeah, where are they archiving many things? Uh, tell the others what we learned about the gleamers. Yeah, go ahead and zoom in on and join you in a moment. Master Dickon will want his cups back. Ah, so respectful. She gives back the cups. Something we found something. Wild. We discovered something. Welcome back. I've been a walking cure your head, have you? 
We got some tea. Exactly. Did some prompt to investigating. Turned off information on the gleaners. Just woke up. Didn't slip over too much. Makes sense. The gleaners take their requests directly from institutions and bureaucrats. That's what she say. Well, let me answer to the forum. A sudden and insignificant increase in cleaner traffic and cargoes. Give impression of overacting plan to be put in motion. Come on, let's see what the tier can build from the facts. A stole observer earlier, Numenon's archive appeared. Contained no information concerning the final days. Coupled to what Kaifer now say, learned in life's stand, you can be reasonably sure. Most Charlotte's know nothing of a particular period of ancient history. Yet my father and his colleagues are not well familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain destruction being perpetrated by Telephoroid. So wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, from days occupied with the duty of Sarah Crossing Matter, the Soviet or Uranus truly really deny rewards his request for aid. Now the leaders official agents of the state have been mobilized on a precedent good scale. Hmm, do I think it's stretch to conclude? Gleaners' recent activities are in service to form security events. Which case, the next course of action seems obvious. We visit labyrinths and assess situations for ourselves. We're lucky the gleaners will be far more receptive to our questions. A fine idea. What should I expect down there? Oh, I would hate to spoil the surprise. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I would like to research. Join you later, but feel free to leave behind your borrowed books and be on your way. I'll see to it that each return to its proper place. Of great help. Thank you, Raha. Let's head down the stairs over there. I'll show you where the entrance is. Ready? Labyrinth is not too far from here. We find the path a bit near so we have to take the lead, so stay close. Hello, Alistair. Not... Off we go. Go! 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 I thought you were gonna run. Oh my god, Alice, you're so slow! Isn't here amongst the trees. Should move along. Yeah, run! Alice, I'm gonna smack you. Try not to get left behind. Look at how Alice walks. She's slower than old old lady. Now we run. Try to keep up. Go! Oh my god, finally you run. I don't know why you were not running. Surely strong. We cross this bridge. I see. Where? Up here. Go. So not far now. Go move. Is this a secret entrance? Here we are to this door and down the stairs. You know, there was a tuna shard back there, didn't you? It can make it much easier when you come back in a hurry. Otherwise, we should keep moving. Down the door, down the stairs. What's over here then? Something that I cannot access. The 
He's walking up with loud bangs from the police. What the happen What's happening there? Take care, Kwaki. Lift up your... Oh, there's a Chocobo keep here. Why? Yeah, I, wa I want these uniforms that they have. I want to wear one of those. Can where can I have those? I want that. Crap. Well, now, yes, I've taken liberties, given permission from our group's descent. Right, everyone on the lift, down we go. The heard conversation they had. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. It's a secret world. If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. Knowledge buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there is no escape. Labyrinthus, the northern empty. Why is it called the empty? Isn't the empty the one, the place in northern? I must admit, the artifice is very convincing. But I assure you that we are beneath Shalian itself. The breeze you feel, the flowing waters you hear, all created by the hand of man. The island is volcanic, you see. And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. It was discovered some 400 years ago at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh on no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. Aren't those people gleaners? Aye, judging by their dress. They are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. It may be as you suspected, that they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Let's spread out and get some answers then. What's happening, crowd? Did you call to me just now? No. No? How odd. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. I I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? You're here to help give me more headaches because you don't have the <laughs> look of a gleaner. I'm no mood for idle chatter. Alex says he took a tumble and crashed into a pile of crates. Now I have the pack of marmots running loose. Change to Levernville. I thought you exhausted cleaners. Oh, these are. Yeah, indeed, robots. Um, oh, I need a mender. Fix my stuff.
Skill. Dobbin. Mm, you know what I'm doing? Hauling books, an ore, and fauna. He's hauling. I'll haul it every decade or so. Take stock in labyrinths, you know. Start tidy up inventory. Seen an operation like this before, though. They just few summers ago, even. There, no warning at all. This mess gets dropped in our laps. Orders from high. Damn, they'll know what's the reason. Could they be changing the layout, eh? Preparing for the next big expansion. I'm taking stuff in labyrinths. Mm. So who's the last one? Let me think, let me think. Every seed should be 1058, human seeds 1059, Turboberry 1060, Wordy 1061. My head feels like stuffing moco grass. Why more loads to take out than carry in? And all at once risk mixing it up. If someone makes a mistake with the guards or the gear band guards, what then? There's a ride shifting coming in and out of labyrinths. Crowd. We have info. Luck, what the tales cleaners have to tell. Yeah. So this grand operation began without warning. For every item they bring in, they're sending more inventory somewhere else. Hmm, that would explain the haggard faces I've been seeing. Oh, we were right before, it was definitely up to something. They're turning labyrinths upside down in the process. What we do learn more of what well, specifically the players are being tasked to do. So let's task them to do with your game. I have an idea. And you want to the leadership to say something about escape marmots. Perhaps we're helping capture said creatures. I'd be glad towards more friendly and enlightening conversation. In the meantime, we'll turn my charms upon this cleaner here. We can compare notes afterwards. Happy hunting. How big? Oh, this place is big. It's as big as a big as a map. And there are aether currents here, of course. <laughs> we wish to help me find the marmots. I have nothing suitable to pay you for your services, but if you're offering the goodness of your heart, welcome the assistance. Name's Aaron Will, a friend, a specialist in the collection of live specimens. I said, capture of Nagshan Marmots is a trial I have no desire to repeat. Grizzled mice, they call them. For mercy, there are no other marmots special in this tier at present, so there should be no mistaking little fugitives. Happy to catch any? Stuff them back in the sack. Guilty, of course. Wait, are you the one in the trailer, Aaronville? I saw you in a Dawn Trail ta trailer. Are you that one? Where to begin, you wonder? I have not seen scabbering around here. So we'll need to widen our search in the surrounding forest. Be on your guard. There are beasts out there won't hesitate to prey on a marmot or you. Search the trees to the west. I the bright forest all yours. Good luck. And I think her is east. So I'm gonna search. In Mournville Forest. Grizzled mice defeat enemies which you fear. What the heck is that? It's a troll. This place is so big. The heck? It's a grumpy old troll. this 
Where are the mice? Where's all the mice? Oh, I see it over there. We blind the mice. We blind the mice. Grizzled mouse, come here. Oh, so for you. In a sack, what the heck? Earlier in the sack, there's mouse cappers off in the underbrush. It just ran away. <laughs> Where do we go? No troll. I don't care about you. Go away. So there's a mouse here again. More coyotes. Mouse. Squeak. Use the sack. Use the sack. It escaped. No, never the grass. Once more, the feeling could have pleased. Ah, he skips. Escaping. Blind mouse. Blind mouse. How do I climb up Why are these? Oh, there's an aether current here. One moment. It's more important than you, mice. Baldi Namahe! My ears are now floating out of nowhere. How are you, alien? Hello, hello. We are catching mice in an underground world. <laughs> Hope that you're having a good day, alien. Where's the mice that I saw? Oh, there. We're catching mice. A little field mouse. Well, I think it's a robot mice catch it 
Zodiac! <gasps> I just sent you a friend request to give you a finished pay. Ooh. Where is that? Oh, here, I think it's here. I have accepted it. How are you, Zodiac? Hope that you're having a good day. What? Why is it not working? Ah, um, because maybe I'm far away. What do you mean, valid target? Finally, we're prepared to speed this time. You succeed in closing your sack over the elusive quarry. We got it. We can give it back to Ernville. It was good to have holidays now. Ooh, nice. Go enjoy and rest. Uh, did you fair track down the three of a pack? Which leaves one accounted for. Ah, there's so odd marmot out. Why don't you put your friends in a folding cage? Well, thankfully, marmots seem to be unharmed. They held up well in isolation, but you seem to release them in the habitat. It's a good thing we are able to capture them quite swiftly. I would have in my pants. I had to capture them in the first place. I had authority in charge of Labyrinthos now in perpetuity. The same officials who had us working day and night of late, honorable members of the forum. Who else? Suitable consumption, easy to breed. Uh, those are two conditions I was given for the stock I was instructed to procure. I don't know if farmers plan for these creatures, but at the very least, I doubt they will serve for dinner today or tomorrow. Ah, there you are. So, the gleaner you mentioned, the one looking for lost marmots. Interesting company to keep, friend, who are your folk anyway. Ah, Kral, students of Eldesian. These others are my associates. To be told, for decision late have not sat entirely well with us. So I made desert descent into Labyrinthus. We hope that seeing this decision put into action might more fully understand their reasoning. Why well, said practical never hurts to try and create and gain a broader perspective, does it? Anyway, duty calls, other animals captured, closures to empty. Once again, I'm sorry that I can offer you more for your services. You learn anything new for our friends there? They are getting marmots. There is confusion order of ambition operation. Did indeed came directly from the forum. However, gleaners have not been formed of its purpose. I'd say it fits everything we've heard thus far. I also discovered operation was begun. The forum contacted Gleaner's Guild ship and put people to, their, to this great workforce some four days ago after the Lofer made their chilling declaration. Seasoned travelers, Gleaner's kept abreast news from every corner of the world out of necessity. Thus, I'm inclined to trust that their calendar of uh, events is accurate. Altogether, it gives the distinct impression their undertaking was sudden and unexpected development. Yet, I find it hard to believe that such comprehensive restructuring of labyrinths and its archives could have been planned in so brief of a window. They this plans long in the making, they were but waiting the right time to put this into effect. The forest declaration was uh, set it all in motion. It seems likely, let us not leap to conclusions just yet. For the moment, I suggest we conduct a wider investigation leveling into us. The more facilities we visit, the more peaceful possible we stand to find. 
Uh, in that case, how about we head to the Archeon? From there, we can reach lower. Oh! What's happening to Kryl? What's wrong? I find really sudden and descent left me a bit of a headache, that's all. And I'll start with stopping soldering on. Let's be about it then. So allow me to take the lead, the fairly certain, and remember the way to Archeon. We follow the path east through the forest where you were chasing after that mouse or marmot, was it? Anyways, this the trolls you need to watch out for. Yeah, we beat I beat up the trolls. <laughs> I look so weird with the ears without my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I see the aether right there. Hatching canal. Narbroy. No, nope, not fighting you. Jacobo keep. Ah, okay, no. We hold Dark Yon, Numenon serves Charlene's literary archive. So, does the structure house the city's world of material data? Architecture too is similar, building you see it's a upper entrance, accents point to the vaults, carved and slip side itself. Within those vast rooms stored countless sample specimens. Plus you have detailed records of the scribe. In a matter of speaking, Archeon contains physical history of Charlotte's unwavering dedication to the accumulation of knowledge. <laughs> Deeper into the maze. An amazing Archeon with an appraising look. Well, we won't learn anything of value standing out there. Let us proceed into the main building. Stick to the custodian. Aether right is wet. Greetings, you're here to produce your Archeon's faults. Peruse, you're clear not cleaners then. May I ask your affiliation? We belong to students of Baldesian, but is that relevant? I was given to believe the vaults not open to public, at least were open to public. Ordinarily, yes, that would be the case at present, however, access is restricted. Persons directly involved in reorganization efforts are permitted to enter. Hmm. Not us then. I suppose we had better move along another facility. The building has a lift to connect the middle here, yes? At least make use of that. No? Service has also been suspected, I'm afraid. For the time being, priorities begin over to the conveyance of inventory. What? So this is as far as we can go? Of all this for inconvenience, please come again after the restructuring operation is concluded. But at that will be too late. We are getting closer to answers. And do you think our approach? Let's step outside for a moment, shall we? Could we just jump there? Or fly? Couldn't we fly? Students of Baldicians. <laughs> People are here are so snobbish. I want to smack each and every one of them. We are at an impasse. We have no other leads. I should like to pursue this one further. I doubt a stone faced custodian was swayed by heartfelt pleas. I seek another means to access lower levels. 
likely people in this area are involved with restructuring in one way or another. We have to investigate ourselves, they might allow us to accompany them on the lift. As you go around, it's really here, so I need a few strong bats to lighten the load. Shushatubi. Shushutabi. Yeah, I want, I want one of those. Can you give me one of those costumes? I like your hair. You have no hair. Been used to it. Ah, take a lift. Oh no, we're just student. Don't let us in the Archeon, even though we found. Uh, actually, no idea what we found. There's no record of such creature anywhere. Was wondering around to kill the enemy, so we got donated to the vaults. I just said to squill, don't you think? Anyway, I suppose we'll take it to care of the Archeon and open again. The heck did they find? It's a little piggy. Oh, you're a gemstone trader. Pays, bros. Born weary worker. We can help, we can help, we can help. <gasps> What's your outfit? It looks like a lab coat. I want that. I need the lab coat so that I can look like my avatar. Where can I get this? Where can I get this, sir? Sir. Sir, where can I get your outfit? What's that? Take down the lift with me? No, sorry, but the chance I've been up with the down all day. Only I've finally found a spare moment to rest. I did see a clear fellow heading out the gate there, though shouldering a large pack against some manner of task. Maybe he'll be headed down below after he's done, whatever he's doing. Thank you, sir. But, sir, where can I get your outfit? I need the lab coat. I need to look like my character. Gate, it's a gate out there, but I'm no longer in the area of here. Oh, there. Oh, it's Aaron, Aaronville again. You want to fight? I will fight if you fight me. You wanted this. You could have lived. You caused death. You're fighting it away. What are you catching, Aaron? Ah, it's you again. Don't mean to be rude and close another task. Cloud can now and capture his close, so very close. Ah, you still help me with this too. Spend your time in usual ways, my friend. Still, two hunters generally better than one. I can always come and gathering spots for birds of all kinds. Hey, uh, oh, it's the hornbill. Feathers are green, it's in the paw. Single it out and shoot it with a sleeping bark. Oh. I like doing that. Thanks for short live. Like wait down the river bank. Play more quarry. Be sure to hit the right one. It's the hornbills. That's my favorite shooting. <laughs> we did this with Imperials. Oh wait, I made the wrong thing. There's a green bridge. Small green. These are not hornbills. Is this a hornbill? What's a horn? Greenbird that calls. Wak wak. Is this it? It said a green bird that calls. What the heck? <laughs> I got scammed. That does it. <laughs> 
Green bird which cause? Yeah, it, it called. Call, call, large red bird. Wak, wak. Who? Oh, he said who, who? Oh, there you are. I thought it said ko ko. It said cuckoo. PC bald. Yeah, my hair got taken. Yeah. <laughs> Go catch it, Aaron. A fair shot. Nicely done. Let me trust this one up, and I'll make my way over to you. There you are. Any new revelations? So you met with that gleaner again, this time to capture a hornbill. I understand catching and bringing in creatures from the outside, but what's the point of chasing after ones already here? Oh. It's a simple thing, really. Occasionally, we remove specimens no longer needed for study, or those we've had difficulty raising. But we can't simply turn them loose. Safely returning such creatures to their native habitats is another facet of a cleaner's duties. But not in this case, I'm afraid. I've been asked to bring the bird below. The restricted section in the lower levels of Labyrinthos. Open only to a select few researchers handpicked by the Forum. The projects down there are the subject of rumor and hearsay. Forbidden magics. Advanced technologies that can never be allowed to fall into outside hands. Even Archons are not privy to the truth. Those who are, the researchers involved in this secretive work are not permitted to walk freely in the city and are instead required to live in isolated quarters. What could a facility subject to such strict security protocols possibly need with a hornbill? An, an experiment? Possibly. I wasn't afforded an explanation. But judging by the requisition list given to me and my colleagues, I doubt it's for any kind of advanced research. I'd be more inclined to believe we were making preparations to migrate to the south. Mericidio, thereabouts. What? Why would you say that? Much of the flora and fauna we were asked to procure could serve as reliable sources of sustenance. They're... Comparatively hardy species, too. Able to endure harsh climates. And among them are specimens known to be effective in improving soil quality and purifying water. When you put it that way, migration does sound like a reasonable assumption. That's all it is, though. An assumption. Through our tasks, we gleaners glimpse only bits and pieces of the forum's plans. Our prime concern is that our requisitions, be they living or otherwise, are properly preserved for the knowledge of future generations. Now, I really must be going. I regret that I cannot reward you as you deserve. Perhaps you might reward us after a fashion then. It is imperative that we reach the lower levels. And seeing as you were already set to descend with your assigned cargo, 
Mayhap we could accompany you as your assistants. Yeah, I'm afraid that, that won't be possible. Once the animals have been prepared for transport, we sent them down separately via the lift. I will, of course, follow after to make my report, but I can hardly pass you off as porters when there's nothing left to carry. Or put us in as animals. Indeed. Pray forget I said anything. Put us in a box. <laughs> as animals. Surprise. How do you feel about climbing? If you've strength and the courage to brave it, then there is another way down. Oh. This path leads to the 33rd facet, a mine shaft excavated during one of our expansions of Labyrinthos. While I cannot guarantee that the passage is safe to traverse, it should provide access to the meteor circuit below. I never even knew such a place existed. Thank you. This is the perfect solution. You're quite welcome. But consider yourselves warned. If the going proves too treacherous, you do well to turn back. I bid you good day. Well, turning back is hardly an option. Not when we've come this far. Let's go and take a look at this mine shaft. Oh, the, the music is cute. What is that? Oh wait, I need to speak with Alfino you know, first before going here. I did not be Oh wait, you are here. Uh, I thought I thought I was going the wrong direction. I was Alfino. Oh, you know. Let's go in. Ah, I must be interested in the mine shaft. I think I hear something moving within creatures home. There could be yeah. Maybe there's a shield you think. So you bring these aside, only to watch our food thing now. I don't have stress, that's true for her, because we continue. I'm a sick. That means you'll circuit, Telsa. He seems eager to get underway. Assuming everyone's tight under strap, check their gear, and may say we had hidden, given the terrain ahead. It might be wise to leave some distance between us. We don't want to stumbling over each other and comes to a fight. Take it slow, don't forget to check surroundings from time to time. We can meet again the other end of the tunnel. What is over here? What are the monsters? What are these? A mithril cap. Ah, it's just mushroom people. Where are you guys? Hmm. 
noble metro cap. Shadow. My shadow is taller than me. You are late. You are late, my shadow. How long does my shadow last? Why is this the music? It's cute. You. If you want to die together with your friends who are here. Wait, this cave is not that dangerous. Why are people not using this? Ah, okay, no. Everyone seems to have made it through without incident, nothing of consequence at least. The promised tunnel delivered us to the Mito Circuit. As I recall, this tears where they keep variety of subfalls are great gold reproduction. And the subject holds true, the specimen taken for like preparation for great migration. Then we see evidence such as the area of research projects. Let's follow the path near farming facility and see what we can see. Stray garlic, stray cream, two seventy three ounces. Of this is was it inside? happens here. Ah, now I know where are the Mariel Ag Agronomics. However, it does so so wide a variety of vegetation it allows us to conduct studies on the cultivation methods utilized in foreign lands. The facility which coordinates oversees these efforts the fruits of their research go to feed their labyrinth to colleagues, so I hear. More at all success might make it to the Agora. Foods are exotic, you can hard press and guess their origin, let alone how they make it. Indeed, a Mr. Vegetable without a name has always some nutritional benefits scribbled on a card. 
I see no gainers out here about to have to work. I seem to share the same sense of urgency. So I should know something of Forum's plans, their underlying motivations. Worth looking into, I would say. See if ghosts of the workers are supposed to do the same cast and use both tools. Hello, how, Harley, how are you? How are you? Hello there, weren't expecting visitors, but not the use of the lift being restricted. Why did you make it down here anyway? Bold, yeah, bold, they took my hair. My chef, you say? Well, you're much harder to sell than I. Now, I'm just gonna say rewards are stashed with guided tour of the fields. My fate form is filling its order this mount long. Massive yet detailed requests, literal wagon loads of crab samples, and hardly any time to put them together. I first heard grand reorganization, I assume. We shuffling old stock to make room for the new, then came the orders for because what it seems we've already thoroughly researched. Ah! Show my hot dog! Oh yeah! I forgot the. the hot dogs. It was not on the screen. Where is it? Let me get the latest hot dog art that we got. Where is it? What's the latest hot dog art that I got? Was it the Masahiro one? Oh no, it's this one. <laughs> This is the latest hot dog art. There we go. It's the chat cover cover. Latest hot dog art. <laughs> It's on Twitter in a way, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a cute dog's emote. <laughs> ah, do I have ought to be taken down below more than I can carry? Then some most of her stack sent off a cargo lift. Ah, some have been earmarked for aerial transfer. Tends to stack of crates stop the hail over there. Because holding a lot of the slope was half the job and a half. Hmm. Wonder what the forum is doing. How are we harvesting? What crops are we raising? Well, as you can see, uh, one is a variety of grape. All needs a good source of sunlight to grow. Conditions here are nothing short of perfect. Hardly surprising given its native to a particular locale and very place of Leverintos was modeled. A region of South of Ilsabard. Most remarkable habit diversity, allowing me to the floor and fauna to thrive. Chilling peaks in the north give away swaths of temperate plains. In a transition to hot, humid coastline. Such bountiful territories ever contested, as you might expect. It used to be called Corvus before the Imperial's name named its Locus Ammonis. The farm site, not a surprise, however, has a researcher's ideal environment. One whose climates we strove to recreate within the confines of Labyrinthos, since provide the rich foundation for countless experiments in cultivation. Investigated the stack. Uh, why are the enemies here named like foods? Tomato, onion, corrigan. Is corrigan a food? <laughs> you sleep, Charmy. Good night. You sleepy. 
Well, they will disgrace the story of their contest. Bundles of common seed saplings company these sheaves of reports. Hard to look away, isn't it? Is it Aaron? Aaronville? Oh, no, it's But not. they're more than pretty flowers. Heart blooms are attuned to ambient emotion. don't seem convinced, but believe me, it's true. This ashen grey, for instance, it mirrors the anxiety and urgency of those working nearby as they rush to fulfill sudden orders. Intense feelings like those spur the petals to change colour. Bright glowing hues in the presence of joy. Dark, subdued shades for frustration or despair. Yet even with the collected wisdom of Charlian at our disposal, we've yet to identify the underlying principle of this empathic effect. And there are other mysteries besides. Although the flower is extraordinarily long-lived, its low reproductive rate has made it difficult to find younger populations growing in the wild. With too few sightings to map its distribution, and no closely related species to track, we've been unable to pinpoint its land of origin. To further complicate matters, every culture, even dimly aware of its existence, has given it a different name and mythos. Our attempts to study it via the historical record have been an exercise in frustration. As an avid botanist myself, I should one day like to unravel the heart bloom secrets. But I'm afraid other duties must take precedence. I will leave you to your thoughts. Have you learned aught of interest? A flower that reacts to one's feelings? Strange. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. This is all very fascinating. But as it stands, we fail to gain any significant insight into the forum's undertaking. Indeed. While there is certainly enough activity to support Erinville's supposition that her priority has been placed on improving food production, and fortunately for our investigation, these workers were never informed as to how their duties serve the master plan. <sighs> if only we could interrogate the forum members directly. Isn't that the entrance to the Arcane? Look, there! I think that's Erinville. A little difficult to tell from here, but, but I think you're right. He did say he was coming down to make his report. Erinville receives his orders from the Forum. Would it not follow, then, that the superior to whom he reports is a forum member, or at least a close associate? 
Do you mean to eavesdrop on their conversation? What of the risks? Ours alone to bear. We won't interfere with Erinville's work, nor will he be implicated as an accomplice. If you're not comfortable taking part, I can do this alone. Nay. I said myself that I wished to know Father's intentions. And no answers will be forthcoming should we simply ask nicely. We can apologize later, should it come to it. Right now, we need every crumb of information we can get our hands on. Consequences be damned. It might be best if you came along as well. In fact, we should all... Yeah, and your hot dog yes, art. It's on Twitter. That certainly sounds like a plan. I'm glad you agree. Quickly, Erinville is on the move. We need to get closer before we lose him. Scroll doing. Scroll feeling on a well. I've never seen her so distracted. Keep an eye on her. Keep moving. You cannot let their quarry slip away. It's not about to let Erinville out of her sight. Mm, Erinville headed westward to the path toward the Archeon. Come, you can still catch him. Do we not jump here? We can. You guys took the long way around. Hold a moment, I have an idea. My adversary's colossal wall like structure looks quite better. One of Labrinto's climbing control centers. Could have its own lift switch, you could ask an upper lower if you say. You are agent of forum, a convenient meeting place. We don't even happen to find their involved company said agent. We cannot expect a reveal issue support us. Lanchella, please throw past. Nay, we shall have to remain undetected. Holy Cross has vanished while we're here. Ah, but there are other ways of turning invisible. Ah, the headband is up there. There. Hippity hoppity, my little toads. Oh! <laughs> you turn us into toads. Goodness! You turn us into frogs. <laughs> we're gonna pretend us we're giant frogs. Custom transfiguration, we're not full we're off with the passage of time. I suggest you and your companions hop along and cast over there and well. Should you feel the magic fading? Turn to me, I'll refresh the enchantment. <laughs> what do I do in the meantime? But you're me, in your current state of mind would like to sleep in Joseph Prevator as you wouldn't learn anything of note. <laughs> Which reminds me, where the creatures hereabouts in that form, you are essentially defenseless. You have changed the toad. You must remain transfigured in order to oh, progress the quest objective. Return from your secret status if you move too far away. Look in your map. Just use the arrow. Stola store prolonged transfiguration. That we need to duck to. 
Alvin. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Alvin Toad and Ali Toad. <laughs> Alvin Toad and Ali Toad. Let's go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit. Ah, there's a big toad. Let's move away. Ribbit, ribbit. Let's go further, Ribbit. There's a talking point here, Ribbit. Let's stop, Ribbit, Ribbit. Ribbit, 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 Let's stop, Ribbit. Ribbit, Ribbit, Ribbit. Alki told Tubbs to fail, shakes his head, but nevertheless understand what he's telling you. This way is the wrong way. Ribbit, 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 Ribbit. Alki told Tubbs face north, perhaps I just need cross the bridge. There's no other way aside from that. You know? Oh, it's up. Is it up here? There we go, Rabbit. Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. We jump here, Rabbit. We're little frogs, Rabbit. There they are, Rabbit. Trust you will find your compensation to be more than satisfactory. We wish to make clear that we are pleased with the efficiency and thoroughness of your work. So much so that we have come bearing new tasks in need of your competent hand. Another lengthy list. If I may speak frankly, the cleaners have been pushed to the point of collapse by your unending demands. We are not familiars to be exploited. We are Charlian scholars and we deserve an explanation for this unseemly treatment. What warrants such urgency? In an age long past, Charlian was charged with a momentous duty. And now that word of the final days hangs heavy in the air, the time has come for us to fulfill that charge. I can say no more, but I promise you this. All will be revealed in due course. And when it has, you will understand that your toil was in service to the greatest good. Then I will do your bidding, for now. But unless you wish the cleaners to rise up in protest, I advise you to offer tangible improvements for our working conditions. Your promised revelation does nothing to address present circumstances. A fair point. Your concerns will be conveyed to the forum.
I hope that was informative. You may consider my debt to you repaid in full. Oh, he knows. <laughs> While I do have my reservations about the forum, I want to believe that they have our best interest at heart. Which is why I'm reassured that you're busy sniffing out the truth of things. We can ill afford to place all our eggs in one basket, this master plan of theirs, without first understanding the risks involved. Wait! How did you know it was us? If you mean to impersonate a toad, try studying the real thing. And don't try to fool an expert. <laughs> yeah, as an expert with animals. <laughs> We're pretending to be. Well, first, of course, we have Gleaner who specializes in animal procurement. It would not be so easily deceived. Let's take a to put his trust in us all the same. Most importantly, perhaps we discover a new piece of the puzzle, this momentous duty the forum agent mentioned. Then we'll be called to action to call for a declaration of catalyst. Whatever charge you hope to fulfill, the it's sufficient report to disrupt all labyrinthos. Not to mention ignore yours' request for aid. A guide of sorts. I'll say start off from the Richard Ironville Department. Don't look on her face. Duty could warrant the direct involvement of the forum and commitment of all its resources. Then, by what we just heard, none of the gleaners were offered any kind of explanation at this point. It seems abundantly clear. We learn nothing new by passing further. We should head back to Stalling for at the moment. See what they think of this. At least we're not ribbit ribbiting anymore. I'm on a wolf. Yakko. It's a yak and a cow combined. Yakko. That's a blue quest. Lost little troll. Welcome back, trusty founder and villain. Interesting. I had a feeling you would learn something important. Even if something was simply confirmation, hope no one knows much yet. Share this with Crowd and discuss how we would like to proceed. You can find her back at the farm. She was still waving oddly, so I bade her return and rest here. Perhaps that was a decision of hindsight. Would you mind checking near those flowers where she was in transplant? Our surface can survey more distant areas, just in case we decide to wander. What was she doing with those flowers? What happens in the flowers? Why are you picking it up?
for you. The spell will keep it from wilting. She said you would need it for the journey ahead. You talk to Hydaelyn? Will you speak with her now? I cannot hope to match Minfilia's clarity, of course, but... What the heck, Hydaelyn? Taking over? Kral? Thank you. Do not worry. She has lent me her body for only a moment. Sure. Just as I could not save the first from the flood of light, it has become arduous for me to interact with the physical world without assistance. Though I might converse with you for a time, the incorporeal form I assumed on the ship would be incapable of casting even the simplest enchantment. It is in the depths of the ethereal sea, the place to which all life returns, where my influence is greatest. After Menphilia's sacrifice on the first, it was to the sea, here in the source, where I ferried her soul. I wished that gentle spirit to find rest in the world she loved so well. Her, and another who may yet have a part to play, though that will depend on you. Take the flower, walk free, for you are free to go where you wish. To believe what you will. That bloom will be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy, surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free and bear the light for others to follow. Together, raise it aloft and let it shine till the end, blinding and radiant. Is Zodiac gonna take Xenos' body? <sighs> that was all too brief. Already, she seems so far away. Ah, <sighs> my apologies if I startled you. Ever since we began our descent into Labyrinthos, I had sensed another's will, straining to reach out. Even with my particular talents, though, I was unable to make a connection at first, so weak and tenuous it was. Once I took hold of that wispy thread, imagine my surprise to discover it was Heidelin herself. Needless to say, it seemed wise to learn what we could before letting go. Her answers were more cryptic than I would have liked. But at least she left us with a guide of sorts, that unusual flower. <laughs> yes, we are definitely making progress. You can't be serious! We've done nothing wrong! What the heck? Oh, you got caught. Oh, your father. What the heck? That dick. Master Fortuno, what business has the forum with us? Obstruction and suppression, apparently. Mistress Baldessian, our records show you facilitated the Scion's entrance into Charlian by claiming them as assistants for your organization. We are aware of your 
investigations. After alerting the major institutions to the presence of potential troublemakers, we received word from an Archean custodian. A group operating under the auspices of the students, skulking about Labyrinthos and engaging in clandestine behavior. Clandestine? We may not have entered Charlie and Asylums, but we did naught to conceal our identities. Our only purpose in this city is to seek the truth. I can think of no reason why our actions should warrant the Forum's intervention. It is not our way to discourage the pursuit of knowledge, but the timing of such pursuits must be considered, not to mention their potential impact. With the world in chaos, we, the true caretakers of wisdom, have committed ourselves to an undertaking that demands the utmost discretion. And we will not risk its success by turning a blind eye to disruptive foreign elements in our midst. What then is to be our fate? Will you put us on a ship back to Eorzea? The Forum will convene to examine your case. The results of said inquiry will determine your future in this city. As for your absent companion, he has already been detained. Graha! But why? Is reading a crime now, too? Reading is encouraged, celebrated even. Not, however, of the volumes shelved in the restricted section of the library. Refusing to comply will only make matters worse. Let us instead treat this as an opportunity to open a dialogue with the Forum. Silence is often one's best defense. I would advise against prolonging the proceedings with frivolous discourse. But enough. This is not the place for debate. The rostra await. Ah, Alice Elkin, why is your father a dick like this? There goes back my hair. Father, such a dick. Forgive me. I was careless. We would have been detained regardless. This way, at least, we managed to stay together. I trust your time within the Forbidden Archives was well spent. Forum will come to order. This inquiry is now in session. As Speaker-elect, I will be presiding over the day's proceedings. Master Fortuno, would you be so kind as to restate the matter which compelled you to summon your colleagues with such urgency? As you are all aware, we recently denied Eorzea's request for Charlian assistance. Since then, certain individuals dissatisfied with our decision have taken it upon themselves to interfere with our work. They entered our nation masquerading as associates of the students of Valdesian, but these malcontents are better known as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. These militants wield influence with both the Eorzean and Eastern alliances. 
and are inextricably involved with the crises presently afflicting the world at large. Loose in our city, these warmongers sought to meddle with and expose matters of state secret. What are they if not a dire threat to be expelled? You have tarnished the good name of the students. Gallup would be ashamed. Gallup Baldessian was never one to forsake his fellow man. Even if this nation closed every door and retreated from the world, he would have found a way to help the Scions, help every soul of this star, Fight back against the coming doom. A terrible enemy stands poised to lay waste to all we hold dear. In the face of such madness, Eorzea reached out to Charlian, a respected ally, in the we'll hope of forming a united front. Was your curt dismissal truly the best you could offer? Or are you so preoccupied with your momentous duty of an age long past that even the end of the world is unworthy of your attention? Whence came this revelation? From the mouth of a forum member within fortuitous earshot. Then it seems your findings support my own. The reason I visited the restricted shelves was to study records of the forum's policy-making process. To better understand the historical trends underlying their most major decisions. At first glance, the positions of neutrality in war and the accumulation of knowledge above all else appear constant and consistent, the unchanging pillars of Charlian society. And once upon a time, I might have left it at that. These days, however, I am more attuned to the subtleties of governance, and so I noticed something odd. From a particular point in time, the purpose of these policies shifted. No longer was knowledge preserved for the benefit of society. Rather, society was to be gradually reshaped to ensure the preservation of knowledge. The most conspicuous and telling change was the one which befell Labyrinthos. Once little more than an oversized storehouse, an enormous allocation of funds saw it transformed into an advanced research and archival facility. I also discovered a fascinating account on the finances of our Dravani economy. The settlement attracted students from far and wide, and the connections and tuition fees thus acquired were funneled into further improvements for the archive. Now, there is no question that our nation's progress is tied to the acquisition of wisdom. Nevertheless, the vast resources diverted for this purpose borders on the obscene. But returning to the matter of when, our change in course appears to have been made some 270 years ago. The very same period when Charlian scholars in the hinterlands began a formal study of the ethereal sea. You found something, did you not? And whatever it was, gave rise to your oh-so-important duty. Mind your tongue, Archon. If you had seen...
Yes. We are bound by a duty we cannot ignore. Knowing this, what would you have us do? Abandon our vital work and join you on the field of battle? We will never choose the way of the sword. We will fulfill our mission, not through strife and bloodshed, but survival. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. For we Scions will fight until the heavens fall, until our last breath. Go smack the mouth in us, smack your father. Father, I... Master Fortuna. I fail to understand the stance you have elected to take. But by the same token, I have yet to find a compelling argument to counter the challenge you put to us in Gradania. Still, in the midst of my uncertainty, I must trust in myself to do what is right, as others have chosen to trust in me. So I will continue, as I always have, weighing the consequences of my every action, and allowing my hope for the future to inform my decisions. That's quite enough. Have you all forgotten the reason for this assembly? Scarlock Montashane. He's the head of the studium and an old friend of my grandfather's. Honestly, every discussion devolves into some interminable debate. Terrible habit. Let's return to the topic at hand, hmm? By their own admission, these Scions have resolved to fight alongside the Eorzean nations against the doom which swift approaches. But there exists no evidence of an attempt to incite our citizens to do the same. Furthermore, while our decision may well have been the correct one, we cannot simply bull our way through these disagreements without inviting doubts or objections. Put yourselves in their place. Who among you would leave a tome unopened if an elder forbid you read it with no reason given? Now, if we're to quell further discontent, then we must conclude this matter with a fair... I would think there's somebody hand. actually reasonable. Master Montachain raises some valid points. Keeping such concerns in mind, I propose we enforce the following measures. Until further notice, the students of Baldessian are to cease any and all activities within the domain of Charlian. You will also refrain from any further investigation into the Forum's decisions and duties. Failure to comply with these restrictions will result in the immediate expulsion of your Scion associates. Let us put this judgment to a vote. All in favor, raise your hand. Count 51 for and 48 against. The proposal is passed. Students, Scions, you have heard the forum's judgment. Pray abide by it or face the consequences.
Go ahead, members, we have I thank you for your time. something at Thousand Air. This inquiry Air. is concluded. We need to smack some sense into this forum. Well, at least I've been allowed to remain in the city. Uh, unless investigation would not in vain. We know this mysterious uh, duty of theirs began whatever forum discovered the material scene. With our freedoms so sorely curtailed, however, we'll struggle to learn a lot more substance here in Charlene. I'll say as a look of dissatisfaction. Overall picture grown clear, yes, in spite of the forums so are maddeningly vague about their duty of theirs. They so reluctant to explain their actions in plain words. Mm, survival come up to me. Father's work so vital it takes precedence over his family. Often I'll say, it is you. Is it your mother? <gasps> Your mother looked so kind, and I heard you dragging the forum and came swiftly as I could. I'm very glad they allowed you to stay. Mother! Your mother looks so nice. Your father, you stupid face, needs to be punched. <laughs> I think your mother is not that stupid. I'm a lens leveler at the service. I'll find people in the signs of Seventh Dawn. How lovely it is to finally meet you. Father, please, we don't wish to make things difficult for you. Word reaches, Father, that you are here. Oh, bother that. I might be chastised for speaking with our own children. I'm well aware you and Ms. Master Falls, you know, <laughs> not best of terms at the moment. I've been absolutely desperate to see my darlings again. Ah, such a sweet mom. You will come by the house, won't you? I have gifts waiting. In time, it could be better. As matters stand, we not be going anywhere till we discuss matters with that kids' group or consider our options. Go visit your home. We'll be back at the annex when you are ready to join us. Oh, for, uh, I'm not so sure. What do you think? Go to your mom. Guy for D? Guy for <laughs> Splendid is turned out to be. Champion of yours, I insist you join us. Oh, the <laughs> their mom is so cute. Ah, oh, you must be quick about it. Not for my own benefit, but should my husband return and find you enjoying our hospitality, the servants will be made to suffer the consequences. Aw, oh, that's sweet. She even cares about the servants. I'm going to escort my children to the estate. And she was gone. With her and the opportunity to protest. <laughs> Indeed, the matter is settled. Enjoy yourselves, you three. Aw, oh, your mom is so sweet. Apologies, my mother's not one to take no for an answer. Still, I'm glad we're <laughs> relieved even to see her in such high spirits. What do you say? So we shall have enough time. Enjoy it. Will you accompany us to visit home? <laughs> ah, fine. If we're going, then let's get over with it. But be sure to stay much in, a, in the entrance hall. No peek in the private chambers. Thank you very much. However not, your room is always perfectly neat and tidy. Everyone thinks they'd rather keep to themselves, don't they? Cherish mementos, so you can bring yourself to away. Childhood toys. I mean, uh, never mind. Deliver the status that way. Straight down the stairs. Come on. Let it. Ooh, you have things to say. You two are so cute. I wonder what the gifts are. What is your mother gonna give you? Let's talk. Oh, and Alice and I were this bridge is far, but we were permitted to wander alone. I say alone, but mother or our servant was always there somewhere nearby, keeping a watchful eye. Now look at us, traveling to different continents, different worlds even. How about you, Alice? Mm, our children, Apple and I would often wait here for our father to come home from work. It's been a day as meetings ran along because I remember growing restless, leaving out the railing, watched the water rush by. Father, of course, arrived at the exact moment, came pounding down the path in panic, crying out my name. I wonder what happened to your father. Why does why is he like that? What did they see in the ethereal sea that he disowns his children? Oh, 
Oh, we used to call here, come here at the time and go our father. And summer, would dip my hands, feet in the fountain, splash about. Not often, though, know, even back then, he was very fond of playing with the water. He'd make an excuse to avoid it. To explain how he came to swim like an orc. He sink like a stone. <laughs> oh, yes, this is where I first practiced magic on an actual person. As I had fallen, you see, and scraped her knee quite badly, so I tried casting a simple restorative spell I only just learned. Uh, she smiled when the wound closed, joined her leap. That was, I believe, the very moment I chose the healing arts as the main subject of my studies. Oh, that's why you were, you're were you a scholar summoner. Then now uh, you will become a sage, I think. A millions, I have your children. And here you are at last. Please do come in. Oh, you have a lot of servants. Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. They are so rich. Everything's so fancy. That's why Alfino just spends a random amount on a sword <laughs> without checking the amount. What? What are you gawping at? You are loaded! How's <laughs> really so good? I'm just admiring the craftsmanship. I never gave the day call much thought. I'm glad that you approve, I think. <laughs> I think. Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. And I should also like the children to have their gifts, ere my husband makes his return. As you wish, my lady. What are their gifts, so I wanna see? Master Alfno, Mistress Alice, if you'd accompany me upstairs. We shan't be long. You're changing your clothes. The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. I am sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows. It is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. But of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. Why? Since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> what have they <laughs> been saying about me? <laughs> it is plain they care for you. And I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, these are anything but. In any event, why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. Gifts. 
I wasn't sure what to expect. Oh, you have read the Mother, I Fancy. Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different made for Alphano. <laughs> Naturally. You are hardly little children anymore. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits, I must respect the individuals you have grown to become. See for yourself. Thank you for the splendid clothes, Mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. I am so glad you like them. They are, however, missing one final touch. If you would allow me, Master Alphano. Oh, there it is. He is a sage now. these a sage's tools of the trade they belonged to your father though he may as well be chained to his desk these days as a student he was often called upon to venture into the field he wielded those armaments both to heal and to harm in no few battles None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you that he was not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to you now. Is that a new sword as well? because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. <laughs> I love the little wink. Oh, you even got the stone. I am told these devices are quite difficult to master. But someone of your extensive experience should soon have them darting about with grace and aplomb. May the wisdom in that crystal serve you well. And please, try to find common ground with your father, that you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge. Well, mother, I promise. My final gifts to you before you run off are an observation and a suggestion. Firstly, Forshano has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions. After they cannot be undone. Shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts, and farewell for now. Safe travels, my children. Eat well, stay warm, and keep your friends close.
least your mother is helpful and you're now a sage, Alf, you know? New outfits for you. I think you're your mother's request. I can see a new lot of her and uh, tell her favorite inquiring is the content of her private conversation. Our visit was all too brief for now, however, it was a blast. As we are so can so home, we carry with us these gifts to help us remember who we are and whence we came. Enough sentimentality, let's return to the answer, join our companion. Oh, I said Baldition Annex, not the forum. And we're going to Razatan now. We're going to talk to the dragon. Right. Well, I enjoy your time level, Lewis, I hope. I ask the twins how I fared, but their new outfits tell the tale. Only hope we can help them go sell with their father. They return home one day with their heads held high. In the meantime, we edge ever closer to the secret of form stripes to hide. A flower bequeath to you by Hydaline is sure to guide us going forward. I'm confident once we have heard your report from Tavne, we'll be well equipped about our next move. Well, guess you expected that. Since there's been progress about the investigation, we share findings from our respective locales. There was a dragon! <laughs> Your time in Fafnir has certainly been eventful. In my opinion, carrying out Beatra's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, we have all right, exhausted Quacky, our have avenues fun. of investigation. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Arnvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Amalja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal, thus the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem... unnecessary. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Any primals will have to be dealt with. And defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. May we not then divide our forces? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Urianger, Kryon, Yostola, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk. But it should bolster our chances of saving the Arca Circle by a considerable margin. Are you sure Alphen is in the right group?
If you're to fight primals, then you'd best have at least one healer with you. And I am more than happy to fulfill that role. I found wielding a sage's armaments to be rather intuitive, and look forward to testing them against a more challenging foe. It seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. Let's go to the Hamsa Hatchery. Let us go and fly up there. No, I, I forgot. We cannot fly. We can just run. We are here. We brought back up Nabdeen. Ah, friend of yours, I was expecting you. You and yours will lead our mission to tower, I'm told. Quite skills will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by the boat. When your fellows arrive, I'll direct them to join you. Let's pray for your safety and success. Stand by the boat. So future A3 travel, I think I'll stick to boats. <laughs> no warning, however emphatic who would have prepared me for that. I can't wish you're a little late. <laughs> My friends from you thank you for accepting this mission. It must be we should call you Varshan, I suppose. Indeed, I would not do to confuse our soldiers. Very well then. For a part, we humble that you should seek fit to trust us with your rewarding skills. Please convey as much to his excellency. One for each of you, please accept them with my blessings.
Our thanks with these, we can go anywhere. Those uh, the, with the blessing of the light. Can... Not only this operation either, but all the ones to come. We can finally break your monopoly on primals. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> finally, I'm not the only one doing the, the job. <laughs> So have we, my friends, so have we. If everyone's amenable to it, let us review strategy for good measure. As we've agreed, we will divide into two groups. This band will break through the tower's defenses, locates a score. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners. Without this, we want the healing due to the rest so we can summon us. The towers bring it forth shall be deities of the Narian myth. No prior experience for such foes, but exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. We commence the operation at your word, my friend. Our people of Tavner, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Maybe I should try. I should try how the duty duty support actually helps. Let's see if this is good. Estinian, join me. Form part enter the tower is up. Oh. This is nice. I'll be the tank. Should I be the tank? I haven't tanked before, but let, let me try. I haven't tried being with NPCs, <laughs> but we will see how they fare. If this team is actually good, we could do the story with these guys. If not, <laughs> we will do it with players. Where's my grip? I assume I cannot do multiple pulls or I'll die probably. Keep me alive out, you know. I'll feel all my life. Are you Zot's armor fiend? my shadow summoning half the gun oh 
there they are, the sisters. The two passes, the Manusia come to life. Our oh, fighting the Manusia. So, focus the thing in the art. Rescue, keep going. More Imperials. Soul Pitter. Oh wait, I can do single. You underestimate me. I think the NPCs are good for my purposes. But it's lower than normal, but still. Hello Paradise, how are you? Let's see how the bots fare with the boss. Minduruva, we fight you. Okay. What does that mean? Do we stop the ball from reaching that? What does it do? Oh, 
Why is Buttercup stuck in my head? Job. Oh, you're still fighting. Oh. They're bet a lot better than me. <laughs> They can actually avoid the things. <laughs> yeah, these bots are better than the ones in the Grand Company bots. The Adventure Squadron. You can actually follow them. They know what to do. The Adventure Squadron wants just go into the enemy's attacks. <laughs> An enemy arena. But where's the enemy? Did I go back? Yeah, I went. <laughs> That's why I was wondering why are there no enemies? I went the wrong way. This is what you get when you follow me. <laughs> Get all the treasure. Here we go. We climb. Let's go. Ew, what happened to these Imperials? They have tentacles now. They look disgusting. Umbrella. Ew. Yeah. Join me. 
Will I? I wonder if I will survive if I create a big stack. Well, I'll try to do stacks. I almost died there. <laughs> well, that might not be a good idea. Playing solo? Yeah, I'm, test I'm testing if the bots can actually do solo. Just for story purposes. At least I don't need to wait for a queue. Ah, I'm stuck. You underestimate me. an option. I'm glad that this is an option. You can actually have... And they're, they're quite decent. Actually. Look at them. They look disgusting. Yeah, better do this slowly than attack everyone to people. Almost died. How are you, Kaisa? I'm glad to see you here. Well, I got turned around. I'll be no stop. Oh, it's the next sister, Sundaruba.
I wonder if they, they die. Oh, they're running, they're running. We run to where they go. Because they know what happens. <laughs> Exactly predict where to go. But why are you eating these attacks? Is it only lethal attacks that you? Oh, I got. That's why they're not avoiding it. They get the deep. What the heck? Who are we attacking? They know who it's going to be. They know who it's going to be. You underestimate me! You cannot stop us! They love using the limit break. I got Goodbye. Good job, team. Finally, the introvert in me cannot. I will not be anxious that I'm doing badly because everything is my fault now. <laughs> I don't have a team that. I that will be let down with my my bad gamer skills. That look at that. There is a guy here. You look ugly. Gunship.
control my shadow. Fight them. Always summon the shadow when the enemies are ready. Zot Colossus. There's another one of these. This is a big spider and two colossus. Two colossus. Uh, armored weapon. Attack!
Do you think support is actually good? I guess we're gonna, we can do this for the story things so we don't get disrupted. It may be a little bit slower, but still. Rather than waiting for a queue. <laughs> This is the core. Is everyone all right? We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. Lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. It's thick. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. That though. This is the core we seek. Then we destroy Yet it. Something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. It is as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Something there embedded inside the core. A man's limb. What? This is what we came to destroy? A man's limb? Yes, if you'll be so kind. Whose limb is that? Go, Estinian. Stab it with your big stick. That should be the end of it. <sighs> what now? Uh, thank you for the care package. Yeah. My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction. Like it's a bit wonky, why? Correct. Bully for you! And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Oh, there we go. We released all of them, I think. That's a lot of elephants. But the spire is gone. We survived. Oh, what happened? Where are I saw are your we? models not moving. <laughs> no sounds. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood. But it is as if it never existed. Hardly a scratch. But how? What did Graha do? What did you do, Graha? He slept. Sleepy boy. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch wow. everyone it would seem. Graha, good job, but you tired yourself. That explains the lack of obvious injuries.
The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Good. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Yeah, they're tempered. We need to fix them. Angelo Alice, and I will take care of that. Do it. I have every faith in you, Alize, but there are just too many for you to treat alone. And get all the piggies. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Hail, Scions! We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? We erected it. The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. They are, however, in need of treatment, and we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Liberty prisoners are being transferred to Radza town at the Mo for treatment. Alice is troll level oversee administration of the tempering treatment could support from those who know of healing spell or two. Oh, we'll go and join them in the city once you have a moment to catch your breath. Can they enter? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it looks like the duty support is good. We will do that for the story. Had enough to rest, have you? Never were the one at being for being idle. Right, the Varshan bade us come to Megaduta for earliest convenience. Others will join us there once they have finished tending to the prisoners. Oh wait, a second thought, you and Estinia should go on ahead. I need to make quick and detour by the Great Wall. We left Gra in Alchemist's care. You see, best to fetch him for his crown specimen jar. <laughs> so you and me then, the guardsmen at the gates should wave us. Sure. Where is that located? Duty support. Ah, oh, there. You can actually do it everywhere. Ah. So I could have been doing that for the stories. <laughs> it is a bit slower, but still, it's fun playing with the characters.
Wait, can we summon an accept? The quests. Honor sign, sir, free to enter at your leisure. Yeah, I can go there. As you leave my post, afraid you must make your own way. Right direction to the city, city station or fountain, at the top of the steps, shall be glad to assist you. Estingian. Ooh, we are going to the city now. Been around at home before? This place is a veritable maze. All right, I'm risk of getting lost. Best ask a direction and send you to the fountain. Either way, don't expect me to act as a tour guide like certain others. All right, Estinian. What is that? Uh, let's go here. Before we continue, let me uh, get some more time. Got my water. Let's go. But we're doing to these. Hello. Ah, I presume you understand the audience with us to drop. There are two mega duty, I was glad to provide them. Set of a sedan situation, Dharma, highest part of Radzatan. Get there, and only recommend the truth takes you by the bazaar city stock. State of alert, however, most places are currently closed. Hate the right disabled. Such will provide you alternate path. First, please ascend the steps next to this fountain, then continue left. Uh, there will be more steps upon ascending them, and will emerge on the Paxis path. Large door on the right, you'll arrive at Riveda Fibers. Alright. Ah, so I couldn't attune to the Aetherite at the moment, so. 
we just follow your instructions. Ah, yes, this noise is about this portal. It needs to uh, be treasure vault. One of Raja's dumb who will be as well. To pick out a block for their garden on account of which they occasionally open up section of, of their vaults. That's why international hunters to ride their own luck, so they say. And there are also coffers hidden across the land, access portals. Find one, you gain access to a vault. Oh. I wonder what that system is. Treasure. Oh, this is closed. Where did he say we need to go? Did not listen to the guy. Are there stairs here? Yep, there's stairs here. Access path. Oh, beautiful. I headed your Megadu Tiger. In case, please follow the hallway to my right and then go to the door top of the stairs. So, I'll merge the entrance to the airship landing where another sentry should be at hand to assist. Inside, like you guys, uh, send the steps to either side of me. You'll find a workshop for very little fibers. You can observe our descent. Take care not to lose your way. Say a thing, eh? Ah, the Varian Weave. Hard to imagine more vibrant stuff. But there's a Emmerich would be partial to the gold thread. And the blue, of course. He loves his blue. <laughs> of course, you know your boyfriend. I've never put much thought in what I wear. Spare set of clothing is usually all I carry. Is it enough? I can always obtain something locally. Yeah, and you waste your money. The nature right here. Can I climb your thing? Do I tune to that ether right? Okay. One moment, sirs. I will go to your ether rights. Hello, vigilant radiant. If you're here for an airship, I afraid the flights have been suspended until further notice. Says I see the less in effect, perhaps best decide. Here for the new, we have business with Mega Duta. In case, permit me to direct you. From here, quite simple, as the steps, continue straight ahead across the bridge, you will not miss it. Oh, it's there! 
I had to. I had to do the. That's where was I should where I was supposed to go. <laughs> Good thing I had to do it. Mega Duta attendant. Um, let's go. We didn't welcome away our prayer after business. Uh, I remember size seven dawn got an invitation at his excellency. Of course, we've been expecting you. I'll show you all this chamber will please allow me. to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. Valiant sons, for your heroism, you have my boundless gratitude. You cast down that dire tower and set free its hapless captives. You cleanse their souls of its corrupting influence. No words of thanks will suffice. In place of platitudes, I offer a bounty of warding scales. Pray accept your due reward, along with the goodwill of Radzadhan. Alchemists throughout the land were put to work in the forging of your talismans. The finished ones have been collected and now await you at the High Crucible of Alchemia. Present this letter when you are ready to take them into your possession. We are humbled by your generosity. Know that the inventive wisdom of Radzat Han will be vital in restoring serenity to our star. Every single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Tis of no moment, a mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Albeit brief, my involvement in the Dragonsong War afforded me a glimpse of the myriad sorrows which consumed both dragon and man. Though you were half a world away, such tragedies as befell your kin must have affected you deeply. And yet, you chose to live among men. In the age when that conflict first bloomed, my choice had already been made. In some distant place, man slew dragon, and dragon slaughtered man. Yet no hate could I muster for those smiling faces which did look to me for guidance. Not even my brother's righteous rage could rally me to his cause. I huddled here, secret and still, hoping against hope that... 
that which I had built would remain untouched by the chaos and carnage. It would seem we share the same desire for peace, Great Vritra. To that end, I wonder if we might trouble you with another question. The Telophoroi are intent on recreating the final days, an apocalyptic event which we know to predate the sundering of the star. As the longest lived among us, know you aught of this terrible cataclysm. Nay. When war and strife drove my sire from his home, he crossed the great expanse with only our unhatched eggs as company. He alighted upon a shattered source, its thirteen reflections long since scattered beyond the rift. Ah. Of events preceding his arrival, he knoweth not, save that which Hydralin hath deigned to disclose. Wait, Midgar Sormer can talk to Hydralin? I see. So again, tis the inscrutable Hydalin to whom we must look for answers. Seek you to divine the will of this star. If so, I have a tale which may afford you some small comfort. Is a story from my youth many, many years ago. To my sire, I once posed the question Of all the stars in the sky, why didst thou settle upon this one? To which Midgard Summer did reply, Twas the last bastion of. He believed, so long as Hydaelyn endured, so too might dragonkind. Solemn and portentous were his words. What deeper meaning they held, I could not, dared not pursue. Tis a stone I've left unturned ever since. Yet take you solace in the knowledge that whatsoever Hydralin does strive towards, tis an ideal which hath earned my sire's conviction. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. While I'm sure we all have a great many questions, I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Telophoroi is far from finished. We must take our leave, but please do inform us if we can provide any further assistance. A moment. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor tis thee. Only wish you could be here with us now. I know of his clash with the Omega and the long slumber which was his price. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained amid 
It's got someone's trust. But alongside my narration runneth the rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel, enmeshed with woe. Think you for the head back. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. <laughs> Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. We sail. Mon Brida Papa Limo Minfilia Archifont Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength. Your salvation, the hope thou wilt need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort. Apologies. We haven't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... Tis I who must apologize. I have detained your champion over long with idle chatter. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall. Where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. I cannot accept it. I'm too low level. So, what were you and Vitch talking about? <laughs> Nothing? Very well, if you say so. Now, just have gone ahead to Haiku Simo. Let's catch up with them. Ark oh, we get Ark on Love of Man to join the other set Haiku Simo. Ah, then was kind enough to give me direction to High Crucible. First, let's return to Mulberry Orchard. High Crucible is where? Rods a ton. I'll say. Mm, from here, you're supposed to follow the path left and pass the mulberries. Three turns, enter the door straight ahead and send the steps. Uh, I thought the charm was confusing. Does it appear rather ton? Architectural integrations make it even harder to get their bearings. Anyway, let's see where the door takes us.
Is there rain here? Let me unlock all the ignorance. <laughs> I think this is on top. Let me go over there. One moment, I'm saying I cannot. I cannot attune with the Aetherite yet, I think. Because it's locked. They said it's locked. Yep. <laughs> Temporary disabled. One no moment, I cannot. When we return here, we're already on my faith there with shards. you're looking at Kama what is this area there's us Up and I'll say we can continue. Where are we going anyway? This is a crucible, ah, so we go there on the other side. Up and out, there are three plus, so good. Much ready to go. You here need to cross the other so we can pass through large doorway cycle as well lies beyond. Alright, let us go. Let me go here. One moment. Ooh, gemstone traders here. Expanding House of Splendors. That was my 70. 78, not yet 80. I cannot unlock that yet. Oh, wait, I can. Let's go over there. I thought I cannot. It's just 80. making double trouble your quest <laughs> Alice our right, last of course at least we found a place are the talismans we were promised what do they look like yes and i made a quick count there are far more than we could have hoped for Ooh. enough to outfit an entire company of soldiers in fact considering the involved process that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, 
we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires, just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Teloperoi's base of operations. Mm. Of course, we would need to consult with various Alliance leaders before such a drastic measure could even be contemplated. Invade Garlemald? To which end, I could set out forthwith and present the idea to each of our allies in person. Pray allow me to undertake some few of those journeys. I find myself restless and in need of purposeful duties. I can head eastward. Bosnia and Dalmasca are just a short hop from here. And Doma's Shinobi network should come in handy for passing on the word. We shall share the burden then. Meanwhile, I think it best that you and the others take the talismans back to the Baldessian Annex. We must keep them safe and secure until we've decided upon a course of action. Please, I must speak with you. Why? Is it Nidhana? Nidhana? You're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I'd been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. Why, Nidhana? What you need? As you said, Nidhana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. For all of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You saved Havnir from an awful fate. Yet who has truly saved who? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Yeah, the alchemists are the one to think. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. Oh, yeah, it was. She's so happy. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, the flower. It turned... Yellow. Look at that. Its color is completely changed. What do you have there? It's a flower that detects emotion. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. What's Akasha? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feeling. Ooh. Is that why here feel things? It is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two, 
but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach, a gift bestowed from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capability. That is a manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. But even for us, Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Nonsense! You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the Annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. We go to the Baldician Annex. Oh, that is an expensive teleport. <laughs> A thousand. I'm so lazy I could have I could walk there, but I still teleport. <laughs> You? I thought you were a main hall. Were you outside? I'm blinded. Where? Oh, you were there? I'm sorry, I'm blind. <laughs> Good to be back with the fruit of our labor safely in storage. For now, we have but to wait till others return their respective meetings with Lion's leaders. Like I said, yes, you should get some rest in the meantime. Oh, Jika, Chun Jika. Welcome back. Kral has surprised your recent accomplishment. Oh, what an amazing feat to eliminate the tower. Paved the way and deals with the rest. Well, as much, I've changed your sheet and puppy your pillow. After all, there's nothing like collapsing in a nice, clean bed after completing a major momstone. Hmm, but pending a, a thesis and debating the foreign entities, would you like to take a look at your new improved lodgings now? Yes, I have a chamber. I have a bed. My 
that little flower. Take heart and protect them well. Where is it? Ah! They brought food! Good! You're here! You haven't eaten yet, have you? We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. Lest you wonder, we invited Astinian as well. But he refused with a rather grim-faced, No, thank you. I suspect Charlian cuisine is not to his liking. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Perhaps our lone wolf just needed some time apart. What? To perfect his brooding stare? Next time, I'll drag him out by the ear, sit him down in front of a Charlian feast, and see that he eats every last bite. An excellent idea. Of all people, warriors must take proper meals and rest, if they are to maintain a healthy constitution. Poor Astinian, beset on all sides. Speaking of one's physical condition, Mistress Quayle, I hear you've recently played literal host to Heidelin herself. Oh, and what an experience that was. Tiring, yes, but no lasting harm done. <sighs> if anything, I should have liked to speak with her longer. I've not felt a hint of her presence since. Heidelin instructed you to carry that flower, yes? Twill be your guide, test and proof of your conviction. And then something about seeking joy in darkness, was it? Come to think of it, isn't that what happened with Nidana back in Radzat Han? The flower did seem to radiate a joyful glow, as if reflecting the elation we all felt, the relief of a people with renewed hope. Indeed, and in turn, I felt void by that radiance. It was akin to spotting a beacon and knowing we were on the right path. I know we've not yet triumphed over the Tlothroi, or learned the full breadth of the Forum's plans. But even within the midst of our struggles, we find small moments of joy to sustain us. Rare and hard won, perhaps, but it is this pursuit of happiness that gives us the strength to carry on day after day. Swift the spoils, though I recall that levitation spell of yours was quick enough. Mm, only barely. And even at my best, I'm still too slow to wield it effectively in battle. Mayhap I simply require more practice with this new magic. You unearthed it from the depths of Numenon, I presume? 
from a veritable mountain of arcane tomes at that. It was necessary to facilitate my solitary explorations. Or, to put it simply, you used it to sneak around the Forbidden Archives. Uh, I... yes, well, after a fashion. Shelves. They're too tall for me. <laughs> and I could hardly move the library's platforms without attracting attention now, could I? That's how you got caught. <laughs> you cannot preach the book that you need. <laughs> I love it. This is such a happy scene. There's probably gonna be an opposite <laughs> clip after this. You know, do know these are my quarters. <laughs> In short, get out. Why else did you think we were here? <laughs> Surrender to thy fate, O oh champion. <laughs> Oh, it became green. What does that mean? Oh, he's here. The moon. Failed ah, again. Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur or fashioned from the skins of your enemies? Or, well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavnir has been toppled. And I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon the ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, 
So I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn. Burn. Let the whole star burn. I will have my contest. I will reclaim my moment. Wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me, so I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you. And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes. I think that is something we can both enjoy. And that is it. That's where we'll end today. Because tomorrow we will continue the story again. But yeah, that's it for now. We're going to 82 to 80. I think I don't. Sh I'm not sure if we can do two blocks. Depending on what time I will start, we will see. But thank you, thank you for joining me today. Let's on head on over to Say Engine right now. So currently streaming with voice. Thank you everyone for joining me today and yeah more final fantasy later you can use this raid message if you want but yeah we're heading over there right now and once again until next time bye bye